Give me a sec. And I just got a fucking strike. Word. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's how it go. That's how you know you on fire. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we live and direct. Live, live and check, check audio. You can hit check the audio. Yeah, we love it, dog, right? All right, good, good. Love it. Stronger, better, faster. Hey, um, first of all, I want to say Brock of the Hour, Brock of the Hour Shy, Brock of the Hour, Brock of the Hour Shy, Brock of the Hour, Brock of the Hour Shy. We want to give all glory, honor, and praise to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well over the flock, our spiritual fathers looking out for the flock. Shalom and salutations, brothers. I have some words of truth and sincerity. We see you. All right. We love you and appreciate you for, for doing the Lord's work, most importantly, for feeding the flock and keeping that energy strong. And shalom and salutations to all the brothers, sisters, Akim, Akwaf, listening, scattered Israelites all over the world. You know what time it is, man. We 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 here today to get into the um topic of as you can see, yay and the anti-Semite. You know, you gotta you know, you gotta codify everything. I just figured the anti-Semite was gonna be a good one. You know, and we got you know myself or pop also got um starting from the from the north to the south. Here's the brother Marshall. Oh, oh my bad, brother. Hey, y'all, I'm on the ball. North to the south. Let's try it again. Brother South. Yeah, I'm on the ball. Now, brother. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The brother Brock Abadji rebuke the tempter. Um Shalom, Shalom Kings. Jim's yeah. common sense, brother Masha. You know, subscribe to all these brother channels. Masha is going did a beautiful video today on his show, and we're gonna land back on that on his channel. We're gonna land back on that, and you got the floor, Masha. Kind, kind, yes. Yeah, so just uh, listen, I was doing uh, earlier today, you know, just to land back off of it, you know, uh, basically, man, you know, this this guy Kanye, you know, basically, man, this this, this guy, you know, they're, you know, he's set up. You know, it's said to be the proverbial sacrifice, man. Okay. And the reason why, you know, I say that is because, you know, uh, concerning the message that he's coming with, you know, which they uh, deem it as, you know, quote unquote, you know, anti-Semitic, you know, you know, this message has been published for, for, for decades, man, you know, concerning uh, the small hats, you know, and also as well, you know, we, us as in this truth, you know, we know that what he's doing. You know, it basically is at the behest, you know, of the higher ups of Edom. Because why? Because they're trying to put this 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 word, this truth, okay, in in a bad light, you know. And um, they're and they're using, you know, Kanye, you know, which is a a celebrity, you know, he's well known in the world, you know, not not only here in Babylon the Great, which is America, but he's known throughout all the earth, you know. Everybody knows about Kanye, okay, so. They're taking this this guy, okay, to uh to push forth, you know, this 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 truth being uh, being put in a bad light, okay. And again, you know, we we know this, all right, because you know the the, the what he's been doing lately, man, you know, as as far as uh pushing out, you know, the message that he has, okay, he's been on countless countless shows, man, you know, countless interviews, okay. Speaking of the of, of the same, you know, saying the same thing, man, you know, and you know now they putting out in, in the media, you know, allegedly, you know, he the ties are being cut from him, you know, and when I say allegedly because you know, then you know who controls the media, you know, the small hats, and since the small hats, since they own the the, the media, you know, it's no it's no thing to, to 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 cancel this guy right then and there, you know. Just right off the top, as soon as he's the wrong thing, it's nothing for them to just roll back and say, hey, you know what? No, you're not going to say anything else. All right, we're going to put a, a, a muzzle on you, okay? And you're no longer going to have a platform to speak. But again, you know, he has, he's been on different platforms, you know, on interviews, you know, basically with the, the same message, man. So, you know, that's just sent off red flags showing you that, hey, you know, how in the world is he still able to do these things, man? You know? And because we already know, you know, this is all pursuing onto <laughs> the, the agenda of the higher ups of Edom, man. You know? Just for, just for the sake of 
having this truth, okay, this word, this message being put out in the forefront, okay, and so as now they painted it as, oh, this is uh, detrimental to to us, you know, in which you know that is really Yahweh Bashim Al Shai at the end of the day is his program. That's the reason why I titled the video like that, okay, because it's all it's no one doing nothing but fulfilling prophecy, you know, prophecy uh, concerning uh, the family of the word. You know, this word being uh, taken out of the hands of the people. OK, and we already know that this is uh, fulfilling prophecy. The prophecy would have spoken of by Yahweh Bashem al Shah. OK, that is going to be a, a, a famine of hearing these words, you know, hearing the truth, you know, basically hearing uh, about uh, the facts concerning the scriptures. All right. And also, well, this uh, man, all right, these small hats, they're being exposed. OK, and it's been years Okay, years of exposure, all right, concerning this man. So now, you know, now they choose this time, okay, to bring Kanye out, okay, to, to say these things, okay. And now, since they got a hold of that, okay, now they can control it, okay. Because when, when it comes to this, as we're, as we're teaching, you know, it only so much that they can do, okay, because. When we bring this word out, we're not backed by, you know, certain, you know, huge, you know, media outlets that they can control. OK, this is all on uh, on social media because YouTube and, and the rest of the other platforms, they're social media. OK, so by using the means of, of, of using someone to, to for their for avenue for them to take control of social media and, and just regulate. OK, this is they're using this opportunity to do that. OK. To, uh, to cancel to cancel this word from off the airwaves, okay? But yeah, but I got a uh, quick precept here if I if I can get it real quick, um, just to bag that up. Um, are you going to get it? Or you want me to share my screen? Yeah, I'm gonna get it. Okay, come. On. Uh, Second Corinthians uh, chapter two, and uh, this is at verse eleven. Yeah, Second Corinthians chapter two, verse eleven. Go for it. Yeah, so yeah, so Second Corinthians chapter two and at verse eleven it says, uh, lest uh Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. Okay. So again, you know, us being privy to the knowledge of Yahweh Bashim al Shai, we understand that this is one of the wiles of this devil, okay? That we know that this is one of his devices, okay? Because again, you know, he has control over the media, okay? He has control of what you see and what you hear, all right? Mm -hmm. So again, by uh, using Kanye, okay, we know that this is uh, his one of his devices, man, okay? Mm -hmm. Because really, Kanye is just a puppet, man, all right? Mm -hmm. You know, people think that he's, you know, he's this big top guy, you know, he's making waves. OK, making a big, you know, putting out his own message, you know, promoting, you know, his own thing. No, man, the, the, this devil gave him his his seat, you know, in, in society. You know, he the, this devil gave him his his position. All right. Amongst the people, which is a celebrity status, man. Okay. So, again, the, with the platform that he has. All right. And him working underneath the higher of eat him. OK, they're going to use him in, in which each and every action that they can. man. OK. So that's why you see him right now making his debut, all right? And it is a debut, okay? <laughs> but what what else he got, okay? So now he's de now they're debuting this guy as 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 who he is now, okay? And being you know quote unquote anti-Semitic, okay? Mm -hmm. In which when you really go into you know Semitic man, we are you mean I mean it, it doesn't take a deep analysis to 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 figure out you know what it means to be Semitic or Shemitic, okay? Because if you really you know, you're talking about being anti-Semitic, then you have to basically, you know, go against the the the, the children of Shem, you know. And which that's a whole other, you know, that's a whole other topic, you know. But concerning uh Kanye, you know him again. That's going back to Second Corinthians 2 11. All right, we're not ignorant of Satan's devices, man. Okay, we're not ignorant of, of, of the so-called white man's advances, man. Okay, that's why it says in verse 11 it says lest Satan should get an advantage of us, okay? And which he's not, okay? That's why the scriptures say, uh, if it were possible, all right, this man should deceive the very elect, and which he's not able to do that, okay? Because you can't 
snatch any of the elect members out of the hands of Yahweh by Shmuel Shai. All right. But um, yeah, and this will land back off that same scripture, right? Um, like I was saying earlier, okay, you know, they're using him as a ploy to put this word out in the spotlight, okay, so that people can view it, all right, and you know, and give their own synopsis of it or what have you. But they put they but they add fuel to the fire by saying that these comments that he's making is, is anti-Semitic. Okay. So now it's thrown to the people with that message saying, hey, this is anti-Semitic. Now the people are gonna look at that as like, oh, this I don't want to have anything to do with this. All right. And it now it being Kanye, you know, him being uplifted amongst our people, all right, Israel, the so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans, okay, you know he has a big influence on our people, okay. So that's why now, you know, uh, concerning that same influence, okay, now it's, it's left to our people to look at that and the message that they're showing them, okay, saying that, look, this is something that, you know, might it's, it's something that you should not get into. You know, that that's really the, the rhetoric that they're um, bringing towards our people, okay, and they're using Kanye to do it, all right? But just to uh, land back off the scripture, which I mentioned earlier, right, uh, Second Peter, uh, chapter two, right? So uh, Second Peter chapter two, and um, and starting at verse uh, two. Okay. Uh, Second Peter chapter two, verse two. Um, and if uh, if I may, I'm a, I'm gonna read it real quick. So uh, Second Peter chapter two, verse two, it says, "And many shall follow their pernicious ways, by reason of whom the way of truth shall be evil spoken of." OK, and when you go into that word pernicious, right, I'm going to bring it out again um, just for edification. OK. And um, I'll, I'll read the Greek word, too. Um, so that Greek word there for pernicious is uh, apollia. OK, apollia, and it means destroying. OK, it says a perishing, a ruin. OK. And it says a uh, perishing also of money. OK. It says ruin or loss. See that it says uh, damnable destruction. All right. Perdition. OK. So in other words, that word apollia, right, that word uh, pernicious means uh, destruction. Right. So when you go back and read Second Peter, chapter two, verse two. OK, it says many shall follow their pernicious ways. All right. That means uh, that per again, that word pernicious means destructive. OK. By reason of whom the way of truth shall be was spoken of. So so you have people that go in and out of their way. Right. To come against this truth. OK. So that it be evil spoken of. Now, in the case of Kanye West. Right. Now, the way that the way that is doing it by him. Right. They're using him. All right. And, and, and also as well, highlighting that he's, you know, all everything that he owns is being taken away from him. Right. But like I said, you know, by them doing that, you know, they I mean, it's just as easy for them to take that away. OK. And it's just as easy for him to just go up and do an apology video. You know, they're saying you're just like, hey, just a uh, case in point. Uh, if you remember, right, Nick Cannon. OK. When they got at Nick Cannon about, you know, him saying that he's anti-Semitic, guess what happened? He, he backpedaled and he did an apology, you know, to, to the small hats. OK. So it's going to be, you know, nothing different from Kanye. It's, it's nothing for them to just say, you know, hey, Kanye, okay, that's enough. Come back, do an apology video or interview, whatever, okay? And we're going to give you this and that, you know, or whatever, you know, what have you, okay? Hey, Marshall, let me make a point too real quick. Come on, come on, you got it. Yeah. When I was um, watching your video, that's exactly what I was thinking about, that point there. You had Nick Cannon, and what did he, his apology was a little... If you know how he had to apologize, you know exactly who he what he had to do to do that. He basically had to dress up and drag and act like a whole mo. You right? Y'all brothers remember that when he had to walk around like red pumps and all of this? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then um and yeah, a few other guys had to apologize. Most deaf spoke about um this there's a there's a Jewish man that run on um, the rap industry, made a song about it. Next thing you know, he was in Africa. Came back with a new name and everything. 
they tried to blackmail him or blacklist him, but he just blacklisted himself. Similar with Dave Chappelle, they, some of these guys blacklist themselves. But you know what? With Kanye, it's going to be similar. You know, they're getting on him. But there's two other guys that mentioned Israelite, and ain't nothing happened to them. That's Kodak Black, and that's um Kendrick Lamar. Kendrick's still performing, making millions, hundred millions of dollars. Kodak still performing, making hundred millions of dollars. It makes you wonder, why not them? Why not them? And I noticed if you've been watching some of these interviews with Kanye, you notice that he always going to bring up, I believe that we the Jews, we the twelve tribes of, but then he butcher it. See, I can't get, I can't get with, I can't get behind a man that butcher every time in every interview. We something different. We the twelve tribes of Judah one day. Then we the 12 tribes of Hebrew. Man, you better get it correct. And furthermore, what Kanye seems to be doing is something called filibustering. Which means, which is a term where they do what they do inside um inside some of these um, what is it, council, you know, these council meetings. What do you call them? At the Senate houses. Filibuster. Read, read the definition real quick, I filibuster. An action such as a prolonged speech that obstructs progress in a legislative assembly while not technically contravering, contravering the required procedures. Mm -hmm. Read some of the um, similars. Delay tactics. Delay tactics. You're over there right. using speech to delay tactics. What else to say? Stonewalling. Procrastination. Stonewalling, procrastination, obstruction, delaying, yo, blocking. Bro, first of all, the Lord's men are out here. If you're going to do anything as a celebrity, if you're really serious about this, point to the men that's been doing it for longer than you. Point to the ones you actually listen to. And when that when that um, so-called Jew, when he said to you, and that if you watched one of his interviews with Lex Friedman, he asked him, so are you a part of that um, organization called the uh, Black Hebrew Israelites? And he started choking up. <clears throat> I believe that um, now he's now he's speaking politically correct again. Mm -hmm. Listen, man, we see we see what y'all doing because, you know, you got all that money, man. Go somewhere with that. Mixing in Israel with church. Next thing you know, you have in Sunday school. Sunday lessons. You got Marilyn Manson on stage with you one week, right? Then you go, and then you flipping sides and going back to Israel. The Lord ain't with that man. The Lord ain't with a double-minded man, and he and he sent men out here, real prophets. You think, you know what happened? You know what a man who identifies himself as a prophet of the Lord who wasn't sent. You know what that's called? A false prophet, and he gets a special type of judgment. False prophets rose up in every era, in every kingdom before our, this America, before Babylon. There was always false prophets. During the time of Jeremiah, Jeremiah had to go back and forth with a false prophet. They locked him up, but he still gave the word, and that false prophet ended up dying. Right, the Most High served them, and so that's the judgment. So you know, a guy like Kanye, he gonna be made a victim. You got it. Brothers, I got a precept. This is um, this is our uh, First Corinthians chapter one, and I'll read at verse twenty six through twenty nine. You know, just to just to um, you know, back up what's being said in this lesson. You know, we know that we know. Hey, we're not ignorant. Like the scripture said, we're not ignorant. You know, that scripture may come out as well, but we definitely not ignorant. And one thing that's for sure is that this whole world is a stage. Ultimately, how about Shemi Shai? They're the author. That's first and foremost. So, regardless of what, they control everything. They control both sides. You know, they got this. They got. They got everybody doing what they. What the scriptures tell you that Proverbs nineteen, the twentieth chapter, the twenty-first chapter. But let me read this before I, I veer off. This is our First Corinthians one and twenty-six. For ye see your calling, brethren, how that not many wise men after the flesh, not many mighty, not many noble are called, and and. We're called everybody that's doing this work, brothers that are doing this work, mm -hmm. every man that's doing this work from the apostles 
elder bishops, brothers, elder brothers, teachers, prophets, everybody that's teaching. We're all called for this. And that's why the scripture mm -hmm. said, give diligence to make your calling and election sure. So now that we call, there's enough, there's there's more to it than just being called. The scripture say many are called, but few are chosen. Those that are going to be chosen are those that are going to endure. So we mm -hmm. see our calling right now. We're answering to our calling. It says, brethren, how that not many wise men after the flesh, not many mighty, not many noble are called. In other words, people of this world are not called. The noble men of this world, the the wise men of this world, the men that that don't went to all them. Uh, like the apostle call it cemetery schools, the top noble people, the, the rich families and all this, they're not called. They're not called at all. Not many mighty, not many noble. Kanye will be considered noble. All right, because everybody look up to him. Why you think that hence the reason why they're using this man to to do this thing, to push this out. We know how the story go. We know how it all play out. Now, uh, somebody had mentioned Kodak Black and, and uh, Nick Cannon and these other cats. They they reputable, they they're noble, but Kanye is bigger than them, you know, as far as music producer. And matter of fact, his fashion line, people go crazy over them Yeezys. Remember when it was like two thousand dollars a pair aftermarket? Niggas going mm -hmm. crazy over that. You they know, sold, so they sold more than Jordans. Look at that. Sold more than Jordans. Caught and they costed more than Jordans, you know, up in the upper two hundreds, three hundreds, but then the aftermarket price was was bananas, seven hundred, eight hundred dollars, the Yeezy three fifties and all this other shit. You know, so he's he's definitely a reputable person. Whatever Kanye says or tweet, people are gonna follow. People are gonna mm -hmm. look. You know what I'm saying? So going back, the Lord, the Lord ain't called Kanye West. Now, Lord willing, we're gonna get into it how that you know the, the the see the Lord killed two birds with one stone. He he could do that, he could kill a thousand birds with exactly. one stone, and that's what he's doing in this case, regardless. Because exactly. I had, I had done a video similar to um like like the brother Marsha I did a few days ago or something like that, but the Lord is killing two birds with one stone. Whoever's going to hear it is going to hear it. And people are going to hear it. You know, it doesn't make it doesn't mean Kanye is his prophet. He's just saying what we've been saying. You know, some some may get it because or some may inquire and look more deeper and, mm -hmm. and actually stumble ac across the real, you know, the Hebrew Israelites, the truth, great millstone, GMS or whatever the case may be. All right. And then, and then the other side, they could flip the switch and make it seem like this dude is radical. And I was thinking about this when y'all brothers were speaking. I'm going to continue scripture, but I was thinking about this. Just like how they signed that, 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 I don't want to, I don't even want to say it, but that declaration to get the small hats over there into that land. Just like yeah. how they signed that and put it in the paper and it happened. Huh? The Bow of Flizzy. Yeah, the Bow, the help, the Bow of Flizzy D. <laughs> declarizzy, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That right there. Right. Just like how they signed that and had them little small hats run up over there, them little rat scurry over there. They could sign something to say nobody can say nothing against these people anymore. And just oh, like that, oh, all, all of our oh, channel, all of our videos clip. There's Jeremy. not a single video we got or on our pages where we don't talk about the small hats, whether we say the actual uh J E W or code mm -hmm. words, whatever. So just like that, they could do that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Reading on it says, and that's the Lord. That'll be that'll be tying into Amos um 9 and 11. All right, the famine of the word. Quick point, brother. Yeah. Over there in over there in Germany, it is illegal. Illegal to um deny the Holocaust. You see that? Pro you can go to case jail proven for that. right there, bro. Point proven right there. You know what I'm saying? Illegal. And that's one this is this is supposed to be the land of the free, right? But watch, people about to realize how much less of freedom they really do have. So it says, mm -hmm. But the Heavenly Father, but the most high have chosen the foolish things of the world to confound the wise. That's why. We're, we're frowned down upon. When we've been saying this for X amount of years, nobody here. That's why our scriptures also say, um, if brothers want to get that, when a when a rich man speaks, everybody listen. But when a, when a poor man speak, nobody regard it. You know? So that's why the Lord chose the foolish things of this world to confound the wise because it's all about faith. It's all about integrity. The Lord, the Lord, he, he's supping with the lowly, the meek, the humble. All right? The poor of this world, rich in faith, but poor intangible things because then everybody would flock to this truth if if we was all about the glamour the glitz if we was wealthy rich super rich and and pulled up at camp with with beamer benz and bentley's you know maybachs or whatever ferraris bro the whole neighbor every the whole block the whole state will come and listen to us because people are drawn to that thing they drawn to that uh the glamour the riches okay that's why also it talks about that in james yep that's it right there 
Yep, that's it right there. I'm gonna read. Right, pull it up, bro. I'll read it. All right, Carl. Oh, you can read it, bro. Ecclesiasticus 13 to 23. When a rich man speaketh, every man holdeth his tongue. Mm -hmm. And lo, what he saith, they extol it to the clouds. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You see, they, they raise it up, they exalt it. You know, now everybody, now, you know, all these Johnny come lately, which I ain't knocking it. It is what it is. Whatever. It does get annoying at times, but we understand that as the Heavenly Father's program is, is out of our control. So it is what it is. But now you have some Jake trying to school you on, on everything about everything about the small hats now. Like you ain't been saying it. But it's all right though, because you know what? At the end of the day, the bigger picture is that the the um the truth is going out. You know? Yeah, like like this brother, like GMS144 said, Yeezy aka Ye, a psyop to set up to be a false prophet from the start. hundred percent. You know, hundred percent. They painted the picture like, you know, he's cuckoo, like he ain't got it all up there. You know, they gonna relate it to us, say that, you know, following this Hebrew, like like vocab, vocab too. You know, that's why he set up. Him and Ye, they they probably they probably have pizza together. You know, they probably buddy buddies. They doing the same thing, just two sides. There's two side, different sides of the coins doing the same thing, bro. Yeah. Control opposition. All right. Control opposition, which is a psyop, a psychological operation. And the sheep was right. going to fall for it. So um, it says, oh, okay, yeah, hey, bro. Hey, through the spirit, I was thinking about what the name of the psyop was today, man. That just hit me all of a sudden. Like, what would, what would be the name of the psyop they doing right now on Israel, bro? Because that's, yeah. that's how hard they're going to go. Yep. And, and also, too, bro. That's a distraction also, bro. Everybody's glued to Twitter, Instagram, social media to find out what's going on in in the BS world. Wow, we have food shortages. Diesel prices. They, I just read some articles today talking about the U.S. is about to face some diesel, diesel shortages. That's going to directly affect everything. The food supply coming into our neighborhoods is going to affect everything. This World War Three that's brewing. This MOTB that this man is about to roll out by the end of this. Yeah, I mean, I'm sorry, the CBDC system, which is like a prelude to the MOTB, setting it all up, getting it ready. That's all distracting people. But at the same time, like like we're saying, the Lord is using that. The Lord, hey, the Lord is bad. The Lord is bad, man. I mean, that's that's, that's dope, man. You can't get around how 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 high the Lord's ways are above ours, bro. Check. Beyond our comprehension. But we just gotta stay vigilant and keep on watching and don't fall for the okie doke. Um, yeah, bro. Yeah, it says when a rich man speaketh, every man holdeth his tongue. So yep. they they stay silent. They hold their peace. They ain't got nothing to say when this man talks. And that showed you during drink champs. You know, in the beginning, Noriega, normally, he don't know when to shut the fuck up. But because this is Yeet speaking, let me just listen to this great billionaire and his wise illuminating words right yeah because they are caught up into the idolatry of these people right yeah. so it says every man holdeth his tongue and look what he's saying they extol yeah. it to the clouds but if a poor man speak they say what fellow is this and if he stumble they will help to overthrow him yeah yeah um who the hell are you you know that's that, that's pretty much it. Who, who the hell are you? Who the hell are y'all guys, man? Nobody don't hey, bro. You think come on, you know that's the beauty of it. That's the beauty. That's how that's how powerful the Heavenly Father is about to glorify his men. You know, we we waiting on the Lord to glorify us. We don't want the praises of men. We don't need it. These filthy ass people out here, these, how do you how do you accept praises from the wicked? How could they how could the wicked praise you for righteousness? You know, the way when the wicked is praising you, then you bet I mean <laughs> examine yourself, man. You know what I'm saying? You got to kind of like, damn, I mean, that's kind of fucked up that I'm being praised by this, by these wicked ass people, the masses of them. Now, uh, some, a, a nigga or whatever may say, compliment you here and there, but that's nothing compared to all these people that's giving praises to when it's Kanye, Ice Cube, Nick Cannon, whomsoever. Um, Remember that one weirdo, Dotson, that, 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 that damn Bati boy, Dotson, something years ago? Come on, bro. Come on. Esau is, Esau is, Esau is reaching right now. But I'll finish this up in um uh first Corinthians 26. It says, But the Heavenly Father have chosen the foolish things of this world to confound the wise, which going out there with the garments on with the Bible, standing on the corners, instant in season, out of season, all weather, 
You know, brothers are young, no shape, you know, no shape up, no lineup. Whoever losing this up here, the George Jefferson, we out there with it, you know, looking like fools, looking crazy, you know, but it is what it is because that's what the Heavenly Father said he chose, okay? So it says, and the most I have chosen the weak things, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh have chosen the weak things of the world to confound the things which are mighty, which is what we do through the spirit, breaking down those strongholds because what's one of the things that's mighty is the lies that Esau is pushing. You know, so this is for brothers and, you know, you few sincere sisters out there, be vigilant, man. Keep watching and don't fall for the okie doke. So it says, and base things of the world and the things which are despised have most high chosen. Yeah, and things which are not to bring to naught the things are. Now, are we not despised? The so-called Negroes, the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, we look down upon. We despise. You know, we despise. Even our own people despise us. You know, yeah, our people hear Esau out before they hear what we got to say, 100%, straight up. We all know that because they hate us. They can't see their fellow brother or fellow Israelite being divinely sent by the Heavenly Father, being, you know, having the Holy Spirit. They can't see that because they've been taught that we ain't not, we ain't shit. We less, we less than shit, you know, but they do respect that money, which like Apostle Ball was going through that money represents that it's like a talisman. So it's like a it's like a, a like an enchantment on that money. So when people see that money, they become enchanted by it. And when they see people with money, they become enchanted by it. They become mesmerized by it. So that's like a spell that people got on them. That's why they that's why they say money is power, which real money ain't even the FRNs. So that's that's a whole other thing. So I, this is the last verse it says that no flesh should glory in his presence. In other words, the most high chose Yahweh Bashmiashah chose the base things of this world to confound the things. Like it says, and the things which are not to bring to not the things that are. Now, what is Esau's kingdom? You know, and what's not right now is the kingdom of Yahweh Bashim Yahushua. But real soon, this is all part of breaking down those strongholds and bringing this man's kingdom down and, and letting Israel know what's going on with this whole ye situation in the small hats, man. So, um, yeah, that's my precept right there, brothers. Paul, can I get a couple of scripts, brother? You got it? Go for it, bro. The water, my brother. So to back the brother up, just a couple of scriptures. This is um because he said, How can we get praises from a wicked generation? This is the book of Luke, chapter 6, verse 26. It says, But woe unto you when all men shall speak well of you, for so did their fathers to the false prophets, right? Because going back in the days going back to our forefathers in the history of the prophets when the prophets were being murdered for speaking the right things right but the false prophets which are speaking smooth things which are speaking things that was pleasant to the ear oh they got the plans to fix america right they got the five-year plan the next uh 2024 election i know what to do to get america great again right when the heavenly father in the scriptures is totally against America. So that goes to show you that these people are false prophets, right? And Yahweh warned us of these false prophets, of these false prophets in these times, right? I got another one. This is the book of Matthew chapter 7, verse 15. It says, beware of false prophets, which comes to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly, they are ravening wolves. First and foremost, starting with these different Israelite groups, these different Israelite organizations, right? Because the scriptures say that judgment must begin at the house of my fault, of uh, the house of the Lord, right? So that's talking about the ones that's knowing they're Israelites, right? So they appear to be sheep, they appear to be shepherds, they appear to be teachers, they appear to be servants of the Lord. But what the Yahweh Shai tell us, inwardly, they are ravening wolves, meaning they're predators. They're not seeking for what's best for our people. They're not seeking um, what's uh, pleasing unto the Heavenly Father and His Son. They're just seeking to devour, right? Uh, one more, and then you got it, Rapal. Um, This is the birth of First John chapter 4, verse 1. It says, beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits 
whether they be of the most high, because many false prophets are going out into the world, right? Once again, we know that everything that we see in media, everything that pops up in our recommendations on YouTube and all social media platforms is controlled by the ish people and their algorithms, right? These are the many devices of the wicked to distract us, like the brother Gabal was just building on prophecy, right? It's the many distract the many devices that the wicked use to keep us distracted from famine, pestilence. All right, the third woe, right? The C to the H to the I to the P, the karagma, right? Yeah, we're going to talk about it because it's current events, but at the end of the day, our eyes are still on the prize, right? So I'm gonna read this again. It said, Beloved, believe not every spirit, right? I know some brothers get excited, you know, when you see certain things or you hear certain truths, right? Or you see how the word Jew is being thrown around and not Jew and real Jew and black Jew and Judah and Hebrew, right? But it says, but try the spirits, whether they are the most high, because many false prophets are going into the world. You got it out. Yep, that's right, brothers. Hold on, God. I think I got a piece up as well. Yeah, go for it. God, it's like I don't think we got this one yet. Um, uh, Second Corinthians uh, chapter eleven, and um, but you know what? I started. Uh, yeah, I'll start at verse uh twelve. Uh, actually, I'm sorry, verse thirteen. So Second Corinthians chapter eleven, verse thirteen. It says, for such are false prophets, deceitful workers, transforming themselves into the apostles of Yahweh Shai. Okay? And that's just land backing off uh, what the other brothers were saying, man. All right? Is that um, there are false prophets and the false apostles and deceitful workers, you know, here today. And it says here, it says, transforming themselves into the apostles of Yahweh Shai. OK, so you would think that the message they're coming with, you know, you would think that they were sent by uh, Yahweh Shah. You know, they've been commissioned by Yahweh Shah to, to bring the message, bring the truth. OK, but when you come <laughs> to find out and you know, when you pull the veil back, you know, you really see who's in control. OK, mm -hmm. because just how, you know, Esau, you know, he's trying to put himself up as being as the most high, like the scriptures say. OK. So of course he's gonna have his own messages to go out and and and, and pro, you know say certain things, okay? So that's why you got you know now today, <clears throat> you know five apostles, you know those that have been sent out, right, to send out a, a message, you know, and but it says that they're false, okay? Why? Because the message that they're coming with, you know, it's been uh, you know it's been tampered, okay? That's why uh, you know. Uh, the brother Rapa, you know, he said earlier, right? Is that um they they won't come out and tell you, you know, uh, the one hundred percent, you know, uh, they won't give you one hundred percent of the details concerning what they're saying, you know. They'll just throw it out, you know, for you know what have you, you know, just for the sake of fulfilling, you know, some sort of objective, you know, because really at the end of the day, you know, it's it's to fulfill an objective, you know, is an agenda that's behind this, you know. And that's why you got certain, you know, people, right? Which I deem as false apostles, or deceitful workers, like it says, it said Corinthians, okay? And it says here, transforming themselves to the apostles of Yahweh Shai. So again, you would think that these are, the, you know, men that were sent by the Most High, you know? But again, you know, these are just messengers, you know, sent by the ones who are trying to be like the Most High, you know? So you got verse 14, right? Continuing reading. It says, and and no marvel, for say himself is transformed into an angel of light. Okay, so it says, look, don't marvel over the fact that this man has transformed himself into an angel of light. Okay, because that's a deception that's being pushed out by this man. Okay, and again, he's using these different celebrities, in which the main one he's using now is Kanye, since he has more of an influence over the over the you know the populace of the earth okay 
due to his uh you know his 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 fame okay but it says look it says don't marvel if satan right which you go into the word Satan means adversary right himself is transformed to an angel of light so don't you know don't marvel over that man okay because it's all due to prophecy at the end of the day and, and this is what the the overtone of what we're speaking okay this is all prophecy man okay no matter what this man comes with you know how many wiles or you know tricks or you know everything he tries to throw out it's still going to fulfill prophecy at the end of the day why because what they just did all right just now you by using kanye is now they're being forced to make a move okay and they don't understand that yahweh bashmiel shot got them in a trick bag okay because what they're doing, they're doing nothing but fulfilling prophecy by uh, the prophecy that Yahweh Bashim al Shah put out, man. Okay? But again, like the scriptures say, it said, don't marvel, all right, if they're transformed to an angel light. So we know there's going to be false prophets, right? False apostles, apostles, false teachers, okay? And they're on display, okay? Why? Because they're not teaching or they're not, uh, uh, they're not going mm -hmm. according to what's written within this book. Okay, they are not uh, doing the things that Yahweh Bashim Al Shah command us to do. Okay, and they're not, then they're just not bringing out the 100% truth. Okay, you know, given the details, man, given given the 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 play by play, you know. But um, yeah, there's an, uh, another one I wanted to grab. Right, just land backing off um, uh, the, uh, the other priest that we brought out earlier. Um, so this is Book of James. Uh, chapter 2, and um, this is at verse 2, okay? It says, for if there come unto you, uh, it's like it, for if there come unto your assembly a man with a gold ring and goodly apparel, and there come in also a poor man by our raiment, okay? Now, mind you, these are the two extremes, okay? Because you got one, right, that's in goodly apparel, you know, he's, he's uh, looked at in society as an upstanding individual, okay? You know, he has this, he has these different foundations, you know, he has these different, uh, yeah, these different foundations that make donations to these different uh, other um, entities, okay? And then you have a, a poor man, all right, that don't have any of that, you know, just a reg regular person, you know, regular guy, you know, that's coming in in, you know, just regular clothes, man, you know? But that, that poor man in the vile raiment, okay, that's really talking talking about us, you know, because we're we we we're coming from different walks of life, bringing the truth, okay. And this is the platform that the Lord has used, or has chosen to use, to bring the truth out, okay. Because His strength, like the Apostle Paul was saying in one of his letters, okay, that the Lord's strength is made perfect in weakness, okay. So that's why the Lord chosen that, and that's why I was speaking on it earlier. All right, the, you know, the Lord didn't choose. You know, uh, somebody that's strong and mighty, you know, you know, the warriors, you know, uh, that nature. OK, the Lord didn't choose them, man. OK, because they got it already. You know, that's why the scriptures say, I won't that are rich for you have received your consolation. OK, so they already got got their comfort, man. They got the reward for, for that, man. OK, then they're not looking for the kingdom. You know, they're looking for the kingdom to come because they're already in their kingdom, you know. They, they chose in America to be their resting place, man, you know? So what else is there for you, you know, if you chose this place to be, you know, your place of rest and your kingdom, you know? This is your this is your heaven, okay? So I'll continue on, right? Verse 3, it says, and I'll get right back to you, uh, slack you. Uh, verse 3, it says, and, and, and ye have respect to him that weareth the gay clothing, all right? Now that word gay means happy, Okay. That means the uh, the elaborate clothing, you know, you know, even, you know, like we mentioned earlier, right, Kanye, he got his own clothing, you know, clothing line, you know, he got the Yeezys, okay, and they have respect for him, right, and you, and reading on, it says, and say unto him, sit thou here in a good place, yeah, so, and that's, that's the reaction that you see now, all right, that's why you got, uh, I believe it's in, if I'm not mistaken, correct me if I'm wrong, it's in California, where they uh put out you know these, these signs over the road, you know talking about uh mm -hmm. the small hats. That's correct. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, because um they have respect unto him. They have respect on the Kanye. Why? Because he's look he's he's uplifting his society, man. So of course they're gonna react, you know, in a certain way towards the message that he's bringing. You know. 
So, and that lines right up with on reading, right? It says, ye have respect to him that wear the gay clothing. So they showing respect to this man right now. All right. And it's saying, reading on, it says, and say unto him, sit thou here in a good place and say to the poor, stand thou there or sit here under my footstool. Okay. And that's the, 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 the vibration or that's the, the, the uh, sentiment they have. All right. That's the, 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 the that's what the, that's the treatment that they show towards the men of the Lord out on the highways and byways, man. Okay. But again, you know, Yahweh Bashmel Shai has picked out common men that from different walks of life to do this, man. Even and you have to consider, right? Uh Yahweh Shai, the perfect example. All right. They were asking him, you know, what authority are you coming up on? You know? And he told him, Look, my father the father has sent me. Okay. And the reason why they asked for the authority, okay, because it was during a time when you had Israel that was uh, sitting in high positions, okay? And, and, and those high positions was given onto them, man, okay? And, and they were and they were in fear of losing those positions that they had, man, okay? But Yahweh Shai, you know, it came in lightness of, of, of the flesh, man. You know, he came in the flesh and lightness of men, okay? So... No, it, it's the same thing, and we coming in 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 the, the footsteps of Yahweh Shai. You know, we following the same path, okay? So of course it's gonna come in the lightness of Yahweh Shai, man, okay? But again, going back to the scripture, um, verse three. Um, I'm gonna start from the top of verse three again. It says, "And ye have respect to him that wear the gay clothing, and say unto him, Sit thou here in a good place, and say to the poor." Stand out there or sit under my footstool. Okay. And just to finish it off, right, these last two verses, it says, Are ye not then partial in yourselves and are become judges of evil thoughts? Hearken, my beloved brethren, have not the most high chosen the poor of this world? Rich in faith. See that? Why are we rich in faith? Because we have nothing to lose. Okay. We 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 don't have any sort of attachments to this world whatsoever. Kanye does, okay. You know, we got you know all these um, different possessions and things like that, okay. And you know, they show in the media that he's losing you know connections and you know ties to these different companies, which again, that's just allegedly, you know, because you know mm -hmm. it, you you never know, mm -hmm. man. You know, you never know. So that's why you know again, you know, concerning Kanye, man, we know he's because the 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 the, the main reason why we say that is because he's juiced in. You know, he's directly juiced in, man. Okay, so it's you know nothing for them to make you know subtle changes here and there for Kanye. But continuing on, right? It says, uh, "Hath not the Most High chosen the poor of this world, rich in faith, and heirs of the kingdom which He hath promised to them that love Him?" Okay, but ye have despised the poor. Do not rich man oppress you. <laughs> See that? <laughs> it said, "Do not rich man oppress you." Okay. You don't think Kanye made Big Bank off of Jay when he put out Yeezys, man? You know, mm. and 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 you know taking advantage of that, you know that, that what, what he had, man. Oh man, he, he was all in, man. You know, mm. he's all for it, man. You know, but again, it said, "Do not mm. rich men oppress you and draw you before the judgment seats." Okay, in which um, uh, you know, and I believe um, yeah, I, I believe there's it on that, but yeah, you know, just to make a closing, you know, point concerning the precept, right? Yeah, man. You know, hey, we already know what it is, man. You know, uh Kanye. All right. We know that uh um, we know he's just in so hey, you know, you, you don't be surprised if um again like we were saying earlier, don't be surprised if you know he does something different or try to backpedal or what have you. All right. Or he may just, you know, go all the way. You, you know? But again, this is all due to uh, this is all lining up with the prophecy that Yahweh Bashim Al Shah put forth. At the end of the day, it's still going to be fulfilled, no matter what. Either he, you know, Kanye say something or anybody else say anything. The message is already out there, you know, and it's going to continue to get pushed until Yahweh Shah comes and take us up out of here, man. Yeah, that's all I had. I got some. When I googled, why do people follow crowds? It says people tend to follow the crowd or go along with the group because it is often easy in thinking for ourselves. We are social creatures and our feelings of self-worth are often tied to the approval of others. People have been following the crowd from the beginning of time. 
says why do humans follow crowds people experience the bandwagon effect for various reasons such as because they want to conform with others in order to gain their approval because they believe that relying on the opinion of others is beneficial or because they are motivated by additional mechanisms such as the fear of missing out it says what well, follow the crowd assessment experiments reveal that people's behavior is greatly influenced by their desire to conform people are unable to resist the desire to follow the crowd because it is a part of human psychology and last it says why do people need to follow others one common explanation for norm conformity is that if everyone else is choosing to do one thing it is probably a good thing to do the other common explanation is that falling failing to follow a norm may elicit negative social sanctions and so we conform to norms in an effort to avoid these negative responses you know when you're watching your favorite rapper Kanye with all these hit songs a lot of his albums is like the soundtrack to our lives man you know we of that age we grew up on Kanye you know me and the brother Barack Obama here we speak about that often certain songs and albums we remember when they came out and how they made us feel guess who else knows how they made us feel esau you know guess who else knows your favorite artists and your favorite musicians esau he crafted them man all right he crafted their contracts what kanye is referring to about contracts and you know how amalek basically got it all he, he you know fished out not only do they got the music industry out but they got the the banking figured out and when you control the banking as Amshaw bauer maya Amshaw bauer said rothschild i care not who makes the loss as long as i have control over the gold so they don't figure it out and now you go back into the scriptures once again right through understanding through being taught here's the difference who's teaching this guy we're teaching this guy where he came from what all of this we are the jews we where, where you got that from my man if you if you the scriptures say lie not one to another you come in unity or you coming in division where you getting all of this information from the man asked you straight up you believe that you you wanted um are you part of the cult of black hebrew Israelites, and you kind of shook your head right away so where you getting it from the christian church ain't telling you you were israelite your mom ain't told you you was an israelite all right you you had white jesus on stage with you early on so this is some new information where you getting it from because only the men flooding this internet and flooding the streets simultaneously are the men of the lord i'll say starting with the apostles of gray millstone this is where this information is being pushed out so you know what what it takes the reason why i brought out all of that about why do people follow him because esau do studies man Esau is not a bird. He's not the next door neighbor. He don't even know what's going on in your crib. Esau is in your crib every day. He's in your phone. He tapped in what you thinking and how you think it. Before you even said it, Esau knew you were thinking it. it the, the newest article a brother just put out is they get they have they're starting to they almost have fully created or finalized uh, some type of computer that can read your thoughts from uh, a few blocks away. This is the type of man you 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 against. You ain't know a man that just happens to be writing uh, contracts and catching you on. Those are the low. Those are the ones at the bottom. They they rich. They might be super rich, but they ain't elite rich. And so Kanye, you don't you don't call out everybody except for your masters. Who's your masters, man? <laughs> Who's your daddy? The scripture. What was it? What is um? Yahweh Shah said, "You are your father's the devil." So ultimately, if they know how you think, they don't study psychology. They they they're professors. They're wizards in this man. These are the same people sending up uh, 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 demons on our people. On the left hand side, this is the fight. This is why we need you, our shot. This, yeah, this it's unspeakable. Go ahead, Ak. All right, whenever you're ready, you good? Yeah. All right, Kanye. Kind of, yep, because this is this is uh tying into what you said. That stat, the statistics you just brought out. This is um the book of Matthew, chapter 7, and verse 13. It says, Enter ye in at the straight gate, 
For wide is the gate and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction, and many there be which go in their rat. All right. Why do, why do, um, what was that? Why do so many people follow? Why do people follow crowds? A multitude. Yeah, you saw know that that that's the that's human, so-called human nature, but really that's that's peon mentality. That's um the elect the elect don't work like that, the elect don't move like that. You know what I'm saying? The scriptures say NT in at the straight gate. First of all, straight meaning S-T-R-A-I-T is a position of difficulty. All right, this truth is gonna be difficult. It's gonna be like it says in the apocrypha, it's gonna be dangerous on the left, and on the right hand side, it's gonna be more dangerous. Deep water, deep fire, um, hot fire. And a skinny, narrow entrance to make it to that great kingdom or that great city, which is the kingdom. And every man, women, every man, every man, mainly the men, got to pass through that danger in order to get to the other side because the men are at the forefront of this battle. All right. So this thing ain't, ain't no thing where everybody could just follow a crowd into the kingdom. It don't work like that, man. All right. People going to realize, like it says in uh, was Sirach, the second chapter, when you come to serve the Lord, prepare your soul for temptation. All right, temptation is going to hit you left and right, mentally, physically, financially, emotionally, uh, whatever. Every different Ellie you can think about, you know, whatever. You know, NT and at the straight gate for wide is the gate and broad is the way that leadeth and broad is the way, excuse me, that leadeth to destruction. So that wide gate, you know, is like that, that, like that, that ye gate, that Kanye gate. That'd be mm -hmm. like a wide gate. You know, this, this thing is. You know, the Lord, hey, the Lord is going to try every every man, like the scriptures yeah. say, to see what they made out of gold, hay, stubble, uh, silver, right. precious stones, or whatever. Every brother is going to be tried on, on, on all different types of levels. In order to, matter of fact, if Kanye is so, if he's so ill, you need, he should talk about the MOTB. Let's, let's see That's if he really, let's see if he really down. That's what all I'm right? thinking. If he really down, then go ahead and say then then i'll be i'll be slightly convinced <laughs> you know what i'm saying yeah. i'm not convinced i'm you know it's all you know whatever but you get yeah, talk about the mot and let's see how that go all right but and that's the spirit brother at this point in time any celebrity that come out talking about the israelites so what mm -hmm. so what now you what? get in line yeah now what because if you ain't mentioned now you mentioned the MOTB in you Israelite now you talking you talking that talk man yeah now you talking that talk because yeah, obviously man. you ain't a, you ain't a, sh uh, a shell mm -hmm. you ain't a shell the Lord says some will in that day when I come they'll be saying Lord Lord and they'll say I, I never knew you so that means you have a a a, a foundation of I mean a, a large percent at that time that know they're israelites you have some that brought oil but not enough or it's some that, that took lamps with no oil you're gonna have a lot of men who consider themselves israelites the comment the, the keyboard warriors the majority of them right you're gonna have some that crept in unawares so you gotta literally have more um of a solid mind the scriptures talk about being rooted and built up being seasoned you got to be prepared like the brother I'm on ball you going into now. And I'm going to let you finish with that. You got to be prepared for all type of evils and all type of trials and tribulations. This, how you know this ain't one of them? How you so sure? You just, you just got happy all of a sudden. Your, what is it? Your um, endorphin glands and all of them serotonin levels just shot up. And, you know, you got that, it's like you want to hit the lotto. Oh, my favorite, my favorite rapper just. And before you knew it, you was already sold on the idea. Yes, we're almost here. See, that's that pre pre game celebration, that pre that early celebration, right? You don't, don't celebrate too early when your house shot come back and you up on them ships. You could be celebrating for everybody else to get their crown. When your house buy shimmy house shot come send your house shot back, and you up on them ships, that's where the in cause of celebration. Then when you got the crown being put on your head, men. You know, then you know that, you know, you made it. He the endorphin to the end. So even as these new men is coming in, don't be, get baffled up. At the time of at the time of Paul and the, during the time of Acts, five thousand was coming in, two thousand men at a time. Right? Do you think that jolted out of the spirit that they should have remained that jolted? Proud, maybe they got all jolted. Right, there's a cause for celebration, there's a cause for enjoyment, there's a cause for praise, right? The scriptures talk about the angels, 
Bridges. But we still here, man. And Esau got the up hand, I think. Not to say that most of them got him in the track, but he's still performing his right. So just be mindful. Yeah, we're gonna enjoy his Kanye music just as much as everybody else's. We're gonna have Saw Baka. The scriptures tell you what an act did. Baka Saw, brother, real quick. Real quick. This is um, yeah, yeah. X just dealing with um, what what was the situation looking like in the book of Acts? Um, when it was decided as a whole, everybody would share their goods together. Acts 2 and 44, and all that believed were together and had all things common and sold their possessions and goods and parted them to all men as every man had need. And they continuing and they continuing daily with one accord in the temple and breaking bread from house to house did eat their meat with gladness and singleness of heart it don't stop there acts 4 and 32 and the multitude of them that believed were of one heart and of one soul neither said any of them that all the, of the things which he possessed was his own which means all of the things they possessed they wasn't talking about it's mine it says but they had all things in common this dude kanye at the same breath he is israelite at the same breath he's talking about being a jew he talking about I'm the richest black man in the me like bro. When did you ever consider uh, the Book of Acts? You talk about Moses. You talk about the Old Testament. You talk about the Israelites. You ain't never heard of the Book of Acts when no man possessed uh, uh, his own, right? Then you drop down Acts three and uh, four and thirty two. Neither was there any among them. Shalom, I. For as many as were possessors of lands or houses sold them and brought them brought the pieces of the things that were sold and laid them down at the apostles feet and dist and distribution was made unto every man according as he has ne had need and joseph who by the apostles was surnamed barnabas which is being interpreted the son of consolation the levite and of the country of cyprus having land sold it and brought the money and laid it at the apostles feet you talking about men you know this man's supposedly in the billions you ain't reading the book of Acts. You don't understand. Well, that would be liber. That would be uh, ministering to the saints, to the necessity of the saints. That would be uh, showing unity of the fold, not just out there talking about how much money you grossing every year, confusing the masses, shaking everything up like a shell, man. That's something. That's how a shell operate. And you know, brothers know through the spirit. If we even ran into this guy. We would likely feel like he is shell. We would likely feel uneasy around him. He's a weirdo, man. That's the truth about him. Whether you're making bad music or not, are you doing the things that the men of the Lord did and then rehearsing the righteous acts? You got it, brothers. Hey, Shalom. Shalom. Yeah, but Shalom. Shalom. Yeah, but Listening to you, brothers. Um, you know, if, if the spirit hops on me, I'll, I'll hop in. But y'all brothers getting down. I'm, I'll, I'll, I'm wiggling when I can, you know? Yep, no um, doubt. Right there, right. Um, <clears throat> Good boy, you you want to finish up or? Yeah, I'm gonna finish that up right here. And um, Matthew, yeah, seven. I got after it's, you. All right, it says, um, seven fourteen. It says, because straight is the gate, and narrow is the way which leadeth unto life, and few there be that find it. You know, and just going into what you were saying, bro. You know that whole um. You know, follow follow the you know following the trends, the 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 masses coming in, not not the masses coming in, but the, just the masses of people, just going to what's in at that moment, in at that time, because that's all it is going to be to the majority of the people that's you know all tuning in to what's going on with the controversy and all that. It's just in at the time and it's just being spoken about, you know. But there's more. There's, it's a lot more in depth, you know. It's way more deeper than just. Than what mm -hmm. they saying it is, you know, a lot of them, a lot of people don't even know that it's some type of, um, you know, some type of um snare Psy going on. Yeah, yeah psyop. There we go. You know, like a psyop going on. A lot of people don't even realize that. Mm -hmm. But then again, that that ties into the scripture. Mm -hmm. Um, before I finish that, brother, um, I'm a, a Second Corinthians. I, I actually was holding in. I seen a brother I put in a comment board, real fast. One verse. It says Second Corinthians thirteen and eight. It says for we can do nothing against the truth, but for the truth point blank period so no matter what gets done to either try to blame you know blame the israelites blame the ministry blame this work blame the hebrew israelites or whatever the case may be it's all being done 
for the purpose of Yahweh Hashem Yahusha, one way or another. You know, the Lord killing two birds with one stone, so to speak. You know, people are going to hear it. The persecution is going to come. More Israelites may wake up because of this. Um, mm -hmm. Hey, the, the word of the Lord is going to prevail. So we could do nothing against the truth before the truth. And let me finish up in um, 7 and 14. Because straight is the gate and narrow is the way which leads unto life. And few there be that find it. And the very few that find it is those, the very few that's called and the very few that's chosen. And those are going to be the ones that walk that narrow path all the way through to make it to that city. That great city that's, you know, that we see. We see that. We see the great city in front of us, man. The prophecies. Everything that's happening, what we read about in the scriptures, the things that the Lord is showing us on the daily, we can actually, we see through the spirit, we see the kingdom of heaven getting ready to, to, to roll up, you know what I'm saying? Or just get ready to be established. And these little things that are happening, you know, Esau putting ye out in the forefront, it just shows like the brother Masha has said that now, now Esau got to make a move. You gotta make now you got to make a move. Now what? Now what you going to do next? And that's why the Lord said, watch and pray. But yeah, that's that, bros. Yeah, but Paul, share my screen, Baba Kasha. Got it. <clears throat> this is Genesis chapter 3, verse 1. It says, now the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field, right? When you look up this word serpent, it says on Google, it says a sly or treacherous person, especially one who exploits a position of trust in order to betray it. And this is this devil's mm. mo. He used our people mm -hmm. to bring our people down. Mm -hmm. Malcolm X been saying it, and a lot of uh, civil rights activists have been saying it. That's Esau's mo, right? While he steps back and watch us destroy each other, fight each other, bicker with each other. What's mm -hmm. right? What's wrong? What's truth? What's lies? He's just sitting there with his hands behind his uh, back. Right, knowing he's the one that started all this bullshit. Right, it says a sly or treacherous person, especially one who exploits a position of trust in order to betray it. Right, and this is Esau Edom. There's no other person under the sun this fits more than the Caucasian people. Right, so it says now the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field. So it says, let me pull up this word subtle. It's the Hebrew word I, I rawam, right? It says subtle, shrewd, crafty, sly, sensible. And these are all the attributes of the devil, right? Mm -hmm. When you look up this word shrewd. Mm -hmm. Don't worry about that. When you look up this word shrewd, it said having or showing sharp powers of judgment, right? Sharp witted, sharp, acute, intelligent, clever, alert, right? Let's look up this word crafty. It says clever at achieving one's aim by indirect or deceitful methods, right? And this is why the scriptures reference the Caucasian race, in particular, especially the small hat-ish people, right? <laughs> they are clever at achieving one's aims by indirect or deceitful methods, right? You don't even know what to believe in anymore. <laughs> You can't even decipher what's true and what's not true because this devil has been pushing lies on the planet Earth, right? He pushed lies through um, his education system. He pushed lies through his health system. He pushed lies through his religions, right? We don't even know what's true anymore. <clears throat> but we do. We do know the ultimate truth which is the law, statutes, and commandments in the Bible in its, all, um, in its whole totality, right? The Old Testament, the New Testament, including the Apocrypha, 
we know these words to be true, right? Going back, I would say sensible. Let's look up this word sensible. It says of a statement, of course, of action chosen in accordance with wisdom or prudence, likely to be of one benefit. All right. So we know that this devil, right, it says was more subtle than any beast of the field, which the Lord, which Yahweh power had made. And he said unto the woman, yea, have the most high said, and that was in on that. That was the point there. All right. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 63. No, that's not what I wanted. There was another point because the brothers had quoted earlier how Esau has, or the devil has his prophets. The, the devil has his servants. He has his messengers, right? He has the ones that's advocating for his kingdom because this is the kingdom of hell. Right, and he has his prophet set up to proclaim the benefit of the kingdom of hell. Right, so this is Exodus chapter 7, verse 9. And when Pharaoh shall speak unto you, this is Yahweh speaking to Moses, right, saying, Shoe a miracle for you. Because what is the purpose of a miracle? Right, a miracle shows you that the message is real. The miracle confirms whatever you try to say, whatever you try to convey, that it's real, right? So he said, show a miracle for you. Then shall thou say unto Aaron, take thy rod and cast it before Pharaoh, and it shall become a serpent, right? That's a miracle. A, stick, a staff turned it into a living um a living animated object, right? An animal, right? And Moses and Aaron went on to Pharaoh, and they did so as Yahweh had commanded. And Aaron cast down his rod before Pharaoh and before his servants, and, he be and it became a serpent. So Aaron performed this miracle in front of Pharaoh, right? Just like the Lord is performing the miracle today by having us out there on the highways and byways. Because we're the living miracle. That's right. Right? We're the living miracle. Just like we're the living temple. Right? We was pulled from this filth known as America, known as Western eye culture, known as black culture, known as being a Negro, Latino, Native American, and Mexican. We was pulled from that. That's a miracle. Right? From being in that dead state, not knowing who we are, to be in alive in Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai again. That's a miracle. To be able to be able to utter and able to utter, thus saith the Lord, and as it is written, that's a miracle, right? These dry bones having breath in them, right? That's a miracle. So it says, then Pharaoh also called the wise men. And the sorcerers, now the magicians of Egypt, they also did in like manner with their enchantments. And that's all this is, right? Brothers was just building on that earlier. You know, you can't do nothing against the truth. It's for the truth. Because at the end of the day, this is all the Lord's game, right? The deceive and the deceiver are his. That's right. All these pieces... You know, all this confusion, right? The Lord is a man of war, right? So there's always some type of battle, always some type of confusion, always some type of uh, struggle, always some type of fight, right? So this is the same thing that we're witnessing right here, right? So it says, that, um, verse 11, then Pharaoh also called his wise men, being the media, right? This is in reference to today's terms, the media. These are the magicians and the sorcerers of the left-hand side. And they also did in like manner with their enchantments. For they cast down every man his rod, and they became serpents 
but Aaron's rod swallowed up their rods, right? Because at the end of the day, the truth is going to stand, right? The mountain of lies is going to be crushed down. The vain imaginations are going to be brought down. And the truth is going to stand <clears throat> the test of time, right? Because this Kanye, this yay bullshit and all this other social media bullshit, right? It's going gonna, it's gonna to trend and then it's going to go away. Whatever's next in trending is going to come up next week or two weeks down the line. But the truth is going to stand the test of time. The truth is going to win at the end of the day. Y'all got it. Yeah, I want to say something real quick. Um, I guess you can share my screen. Uh, you, you brought out, just let me know if y'all brothers can see it. Or do I have to share it? You can share your screen, Yasha Wamba and Rapal. Okay. We'll hit the button okay. so your screen, screen will pop up. Okay. All right. All right. Just let me know if y'all can see it. <clears throat> the hell? whatever yeah um is it up um i don't see nothing yet yes yeah, it's, it's tripping I, i'll just speak on it because i guess i gotta do some preferences anyway okay. but the word that you uh you brought out uh genesis the uh third chapter dealing with the uh serpent in the garden and the uh word for serpent when you get uh the root word it's actually it's uh nahash and that means an enchanter you know showing you that the uh serpent in the garden wasn't a green snake that rolled up with an apple you know that ruined the world it's it's a philosophy and um nahash means to practice divination you know as you are the uh, elder barack gabar is going into and all of you brothers this man is a high level witch and we have to understand that the same serpent from the garden now rules the whole entire planet Earth. That's what he's always wanted to do, all right, is uh, sit in the temple of the Most High, the garden, all right, of Eden, starting at Jerusalem, showing himself that he is the children of Yahweh Bashim Shai. Yeah, this, my computer is tripping. But um, so I'm going to pull it up. Yeah, it says uh, to practice divination, divine, observe signs, learn by experience. And Esau has studied the minds of the people, all right? And um, with every, everything that's happening, it, it is definitely a, uh, an enchantment. It is definitely a uh, psyop, all right? But this is a different time because the children of Yahweh Bashim Shai have awakened and where Esau thinks he's going to use, you know, the talking point of the Israelites and the black, the Jews being black and all of this anti-Sim crap, you know, is, is really going to spiral out of control because he thinks he's the most high. He thinks the deceived and the deceiver is his, but he's getting ready to find out very, very soon, like Pharaoh found out, all right, that Yahweh by Shimei Shai is real. Now that word, Nahash, to practice divination, divine, observe signs, learn by experience. He studies the bond, the people's minds, and he, he, he figures out what to do next, calling on his gods. A lot of that is going on, to practice fortune telling, to take as an omen, so it's a it's a it's a witch. The serpent in the garden was a was a man, a nation of people, ultimately uh, who practiced witchcraft, and they were able to insert that garbage into the uh, you know to Eve, you know the church, and then eventually Adam. And it's the same thing all over again, because you have to understand the scriptures tie. All right, when you type in that old serpent in the scriptures, it, it directly ties um, ancient Rome. Uh, to, all right, and it's revival to this beast system that is ruling the world today. So this world is ultimately ruled by the serpent. And you have to understand at the very end of his uh, rulership, he's going to damn sure throw some serious enchantments out there. And one of the uh, best things or one of his greatest tricks is uh, making you to believe you have a leader because mm -hmm. the leader that he sets up on the left hand will speak to things that talk to your flesh. Now, he thinks, you know, ultimately he's going to bring all of this confusion because what he's really going to do is uh, play the, oh, you hit me first trick. 
because uh, you're getting ready to see all kind of small hats on TV crying <laughs> with those hats, you know, crying and, you know, their children they are going to show their children. They're going to mm-hmm. show the, the, the survivors of the so-called hollow thing. <laughs> mm-hmm. And they're going to be crying and, and, and wiggling around and, you know, saying this must be stopped. And then eventually what Esau is going to do is use the flesh and ultimately uh, an, an enchantment to say, that this talking point of the Jews being black is driving people crazy, is uh, making you know, uh, people attack small hats. They're going to start bringing out these little situations that has popped up over the you know course of the years since we've been in the truth. You've always had you know a crazy uh, Jake here and there, or even if it's a Jake who was bugged out, but you go to his social media and somehow he'd have you know Shalom on there. You know all of these things were happening for this very moment. And uh, we've always spoke everything that's happening right now and that's getting ready to happen through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shemia Shai. Start with the apostles and the elders. We've, you know, basically Esau is doing what our apostles and elders and the you brothers who all of us who've entered into their labors, uh, what what we've told him he was going to do. He's really walking to the tune of prophecies. Um, like Pharaoh, the heavenly father is putting the spirit on Esau to ultimately make his move. All right. Remember, you know, um, in order for us to be delivered, we have to be in a in a in a very, very dire situation. Jacob's trouble. Now, when we were in Egypt, uh, Pharaoh wanted to leave us alone, but the heavenly father put a spirit on him. All right. Hardened his heart to come after us. So that's ultimately where all everything that's happening is leading to what uh, is known as biblical prophecy. All right. The, the dragon is going to come after the woman, that old serpent, the same serpent from the garden now rules the world. And he wants to establish his NWO, Satan's kingdom on earth. That's what he's always wanted to do. Now he has the technology and the left hand means to finally establish it. Okay, but the final the, the, the final issue, like what did Cain do? He he tried to get the righteous sacrifice out of there. Okay, but the Lord blessed us with Seth. Well, this ultimately, this enchantment and what he's getting ready to do is try to get this talking point, this sacrifice cut off out of the earth and be justified and ultimately mass murdering and, and 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 having his way with the prophets all right and that's when the lord is eventually going to lift up a standard so we want all of this we know that there's a lot of confusion we know that ultimately um esau's doing his thing but we whatever we see we look at it from the perspective of a of a leader from a, as a as a, as a uh, you know a, in a spiritual war this all is leading to prophecy you know kanye west we know he's a bug out you know, but hey, hey, ultimately the Lord wrote this from the foundation of the earth. Now he uses the left hand to do these things. All right. And Jake really think, you know, Kanye's a leader. <laughs> and Kanye ain't set up to bring out the full truth. Okay. He's set up to be an entertainer and through his 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 talking points, ultimately, all even the red pill platform, it all brought light to what our apostles and elders and the men before them and you brothers and us who have entered into their labors have been saying. So the Heavenly Father is just given, ultimately given his word a boost and who's ever of the elect are going to go through the proper means and channels to get to the truth. The rest of the people are just talking shit, looking for the next thing to post on their social media and act as if they really have a, a, a care. These people don't give a damn. And the most of most of these people are going to die. All we're all we're here to do is ultimately uh, galvanize, you know, look for the galvan, galvanizing of the mind of the elect. But again, we all got to keep in mind that the serpent rules this world. All right. Rome was ruled by the serpent and the revival of Rome is ruled by the serpent, the biblical Edomites. So everything you see and if it's being allowed on his media, you best believe that there's an agenda behind it. You see, but this is a different time. All right. The Heavenly Father got a uh, uh, because the Lord talked about in prophecy how he um, was going to destroy the wisdom out of Teman. And when you look at the backlash, a lot of people on these comment boards, are, are, are he, this small hats are making a fool of themselves. <laughs> all right. You got all of the, You got reparations. You get billions of dollars in aid from uh, uh, Babylon alone. How much more yeah. from uh, uh, Germany and these various uh, other different countries? What, what are you mad about? And yeah. when you really look at what this dude Kanye West said, he didn't say nothing. All he said was the, the, the obvious. Yeah, they run the world. And then he threw in a little, you know, sublim- yeah, we, you know, I'm, I'm the Jew too. But what, are, what is everybody in an uproar about? If you really heard the truth, you people are going to go crazy when you really hear the truth. This is why Esau has to go about it in a serpent-like way. 
Is that hold on? I, you got it. You go into, you you going into slavery. Yes. <laughs> you going into slavery. You got them devils. You going to cut them. You know. Right. Talk about Defcon three. Like Defcon three is a defense mechanism. It's not right. even a. It's not even an assault or an attack. It's a defense mechanism. You're preparing for an attack, right? God damn. Yo, you got it. I'll lock you, man. No, nah, nah, you're right. It was like, what, what really did he say? And that shows you how weak these people are. Because if yeah. they were smart, they would just try to go, they would go into prophecy and say, see, it said they were going to be persecuting us and talking <laughs> down on us. You dummies, right. you don't even know how to be the false Jew. We could teach you how to be the, the fake Jew better than your ass know how to do it, man. You dummy. You, 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 what are you crying about? This is prof prophetically, <laughs> it said that the, 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 the chosen seed would be persecuted. So you should be lying and trying to use this to, to go into prophecy. But you notice ain't nobody going into the scriptures on these interviews. Nobody's going into the Bible in these interviews. Everybody's just talking. No prophecy. Nothing. Y'all got it. Yeah, I wanted to mention some of these, um, like the brother, like the elder just pointed out, man. So many, so many good points to be made. If y'all was the real, those real people, just go into prophecy about how they're going to talk about you. That's a great point, but they don't do that. It's a bunch of crying coming from that side. It's a bunch of tears and 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 sad stories and and sob stories. And when you just analyze it, even even the conscious community, I seen a clip of um, what's this guy? Uh, not Shaka Atmos, but the other young pharaoh talking to a small hat. And delivering it to him about look look how many millions of people was conquered by your people and now you you know you sent this earlier and uh they getting it they going in on their own comment boards you see youtube was you know the internet one of the rock one of the rockefeller statements is i wish we never that was the worst thing we ever created was the internet and through the internet you can't get a lot of a lot of mixed signals and you know half truths but you got some you got a lot of people coming up and standing up for what they now can see as like the only people running things is Amalek. Somebody said, hate is good when you're directed towards those that want to destroy what you love. Somebody says Kanye's right. And to be honest, the further he divides into this topic, the more anti-Semitic he will become. <laughs> it happens to all of us who pay close attention, close enough attention. See the, see the people who are speaking, man. They under, they're, they're at least getting that. See, Amalek is just going to have to come full out now. They're going to have to come all the way. It says, do they not realize that the people are reading uh, what is written? That's nothing. It says, uh, yeah, yeah. They had an orchestra in a hospital in a death camp, in a D camp. It says they had a prison. Yeah, a prison. And then they start going in. I mean, you read these comments. It said they played music all the time. This is talking about the, you know, them camps over there during, um, you know, Second World War. It said they played music all the time and had swimming pools and theaters on inmate side of the camp. Not on, not so shabby for a prison camp. It's crazy. They said his goal was to kill them. Why would he kill his main source for labor to assemble equipment for the war? That's killing free labor, not really free. I mean, they just exposing them, man. They just exposing every way you look. They exposing E, is because once again, E's the product. He's the minister of of evil. And I got a scripture real quick. This is Revelation six and three. And when he had opened the second seal, I heard in the second beast say, "Come and see." And there went out another horse that was red, and power was given to him that sat there on to take peace from the earth. Now you can ask. Uh, or, or a slew of Christians lined up. Who is that red horse? It's just a horse. Uh, it's, it's a horse, of course, to them. Well, that's dealing with Esau. See, Esau, Esau, Edom. Edom means red, out the wand. And so that was a symbol of his power that he would get. What is the prophecy that he would he would have uh, given to him by his father Isaac? Uh, what was his blessing? That he would rule the earth uh, and control the earth with a sword. All right. He would control the world with a sword. A sword is given to him. And now we know that Jacob is the beginning of uh, uh, Jake, Esau is the end and Jacob is the beginning that follower. So we could put in time a timeline on where we're at right now. We at the end. So this is just the shenanigans of the culprit, man. It says, and there went out another horse that was red 
and power was given to him that sat there on. So we understand that's the power that was given to him by his, you know, pro prophetically from his father. The birthright, going back to that, that he sold it. And then Hebrews explained that he saw it carefully with tears. This is a tearful man. And he's still tearing up about his situation that he's in. He's procrastinating on the fact that he wants to control the world. And he's and he's procrastinating so much that these cherries are starting to whiz by him at light speed and whizzing by all his space stations. Mm -hmm. And then he's procrastinating again because, you know, the mark needs he want he desires for that to come out. Yeah, he's right. procrastinating. He doesn't want to do it with an iron fist. Well, you'll have to because the whole scheme is up. The gig's up. So where do you go once you're, once you're revealed? See, the skirt is lifted up on Esau. How are the things that Esau hit uh, searched or uh, uh, found out? Going back to Obadiah. It says in red, in power, it says in power was given to him that sat there on, just talking about the red horse, Esau, Edom, to take peace from the earth that they should kill one another. And there was given unto him a great sword. Mm. Well, that great sword that his father Isaac blessed him with. That he said, I, and I will slay Jacob. And it's no coincidence that even amongst all of the different nations out there, it, it came to be a, it's an Israelite who's getting the blame once again for, for the obvious. What he's doing to the world, he's doing to Israel. What he's doing to Israel, he's doing to the world. But the Most High requires only what he's done to Jerusalem, mm -hmm. right? It's Jerusalem that the Most High cares of. And ultimately, this man is hated by the Most High. And is it, everything about him, every facet, we always go into it. What is likable about the man, Esau, Edom? Nothing. He's contentious. He was born evil and wicked. The scriptures say he was um estranged from the womb. All right? He go around, go, go around speaking lies <laughs> as soon as he be born. Right. A man like that, you can't have contracts with. Lest they be all wicked and evil. And that's with it, the whole contractual... Read the scriptures and find some clauses in there in small print. It doesn't exist <laughs> where the Most High has to s s sneak in a few things. That's Esau. Right. E even the laws, brother, like the laws um, that Esau write, it's like 2,000 pages. Like the laws in the Bible, you, you do this, this is the, the judgment. Like this devil, he's just all over the place. He's, he's, he's He got too much going on. He needs to be taken out. You know, and we got to think the man who gave up his birthright actually runs the world. <laughs> he gave up his birthright, but he runs the world. So that that should explain to you why the world is in this condition, man. The true children of the most high ain't ruling this world. Not at all. Because mm -hmm. the people are mourning. When yeah. the wicked bear rule, the people mourn. And mm -hmm. that's scripture. Yes. I got a precept. Go for it. This is um the book of Matthew, chapter five and verse ten. And then back in uh, on what you said earlier, you know, LD Ashwan, but you had made the point that if these if these are the, <laughs> the real people, they should be embracing it. Matter of fact, you see when like vocabs and them and them them come up against us or whatever, what do we do? We combat it with the scriptures. That's right. They should be going like you like you was just land back. You they, they should be going to the scriptures saying that they are. They're supposed to be going to the scriptures, proving that they are those people. Go to the Torah, you know, go to the law, go to the, you know, to, to, mm -hmm. the, to, the, to the scriptures and just prove it. Go to Deuteronomy 28, but they can't. So the only thing they could, they could do mm. is just cry out, just like just like you you mentioned, mm. um, like Isaac did. And not Isaac, I'm sorry, Esau did. Esau and Cain. You know, after he done sold his, his blessing or sold his birthright, started crying afterwards. So that showing you who the who come on, bro. Jake don't <laughs> cry that easily, bro. <laughs> you know, Jake will put up a fight before they, they they just start crying and weeping like a little punk. But that's Esau for you, man. I can't you know, no if fans of butts. But this is Matthew chapter 5 and verse 10. It says, Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of the heavenly father. And we know this is talking about the Israelites because this is all leading up to the persecution that they they're eventually gonna come with. And we acknowledge that, you know, the Lord gave us the the the, the, the eye salve, the true judgment to see this thing before it happens. Like the scripture said, prudent man foresee the evil and hide himself. So we we know they coming with something. And you know what? We embracing it. We're not telling them to stop. Hmm. We're not on YouTube telling them stop, stop calling us, you know, uh, you know, stop persecuting, whatever. Let them do what they're doing. We're not telling, we're not crying. 
No, we're not going to Al Sharp ass and them guys and telling them, listen, we right. tell these 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 people to stop doing what they don't know. We right. this is our defense right here, the scriptures. All right, <laughs> how about Shemi Al is our defense, and he is gonna stand up for his people in that time to come. Right. So we're blessed. Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness' sake. We about to see that persecution. Mm. We about to see it. it's all building up to it. Everything everything is in track. Everything is on time. It is you got famine, have famine in the background, food shortages, inflation. Um, this CBDC system getting ready to roll out the MOTB in the background. You know what else? So many, so so much things, bro. I mean, we don't cover it at all. It's hard to even try to like pinpoint them in a second, you know. But so many things all happening all at once. Everything is on time, you know. But if you ain't watching, how, how the hell are you gonna know? If you're not lining up with prophecies, if you're not steadily glued to current events, the news, the, the precepts, uh, the scriptures, what brothers are saying, the apostles, the elders, the bishops, how the hell are you going to know? Right. You know, so these people that's only only concerned with the the, the Joneses and shit, then, yeah. you know, they lost. They lost in the source. Right. You know, and it behooves you out the Israelite groups to really get, really get in tune with what's going on. Yeah. You know, if you ain't sell out already, but, you know, it is what it is because that persecution is coming. And what the Lord said in Revelation, the third chapter, because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation. But the ultimate persecution at the end of all be all is going to be, you know, after it's all said and done, you know, you got scriptures like Revelation 20 and 4, certain men being beheaded for the for the for not accepting this whole thing, not taking the MOTB. It's going to get real dire out here, man. It's going to get real serious. And Jake going to realize when it's too late. So it says, mm -hmm. Blessed are ye when men shall revile you and persecute you and shall say all men of evil against you falsely for my sake. All right, now again, if, if them if them got them cats, them small hats were really them people, they should be embracing them. But then again, they can't turn to scriptures like this because they don't believe the Messiah even came. So they all messed up in the game. All right, they don't even know what's going on. You know, the the lower the the lower ones of them, they don't even know that they're the devil. You know, but the top elites, they know that they're the devil. They know that they're Esau Edom, and they know that they future is slavery. They know that they got a short time and they got to come with great wrath. But the little ones, they don't know. Them little rats out there in Brooklyn, Eastern Parkway and all that, man, they're going to be out there caught up in, in the hell too. <laughs> you know, trying to fight off Judah, the real Jews, you know. <laughs> you know, so it says, rejoice and be exceeding glad. For great is your reward. All right. For great is your reward in heaven. For so persecuted they the prophets which were before you. And the prophets were all being, always being persecuted. Mainly by, by their own people. All right. By their own people, Israel. Okay. We... Jake been persecuting brothers, you know, the, the real men of the Lord, the prophets, you know, I mean, the scoffers that came and went, you know, tarnishing brothers' lives, livelihood, and just scoffing on a common board, persecuting in public, you know, at camp, whether, whatever the case may be, mm -hmm. all right? But that whole persecution going to be turned up a whole notch, man. You hate the year, you about Shemir Al Shai turning up, so... You know, rejoice and be exceedingly glad because we're glad. You see, the small has they they crying, they taking away the which is all bullshit. I keep you know we don't keep saying that, but they taking away their their data's endorsement, gap endorsement, this endorsement, that endorsement, and we encourage you to continue to do what you're doing. Bring the persecution. Let's get it over with, man. Right, Isaac <laughs> is really with, taking man. his endorsement. Huh? <laughs> Isaac go take away his endorsement. Yeah, there you go. That's right. <laughs> he, he gave you what he gave. He to take your blessing away. That's what's getting ready to happen to you, devils, man. That's right. That's right. Mm -hmm. you know, which is your damn, which is your rulership right now. The Lord is about to strip it from you, man. The saints mm -hmm. of the Most High shall take the kingdom with force. <laughs> Jeremiah fifty one. The Lord is going to set up them battle axes and weapons of war, man. Come on, Esau, man. Yeah, I think you said earlier too, Yashua. But when we when we when we forced in that corner, something like that, man. Hey, the Lord's gonna have to. The Lord's gonna have to step in. Yes, it. You know when when the, when we forced into that corner, man. So you so you corner, you think you cornering us, but you cornering yourself. <laughs> that's right, like Pharaoh. So come on with it. All right, that, that's all I got right there, I got, brothers. I got one more, and then I'm gonna roll out. I'm gonna, uh, yep. uh, uh -huh. in another live stream. But this is a uh, wisdom of Solomon, two and eleven. Now this is the mindset of the wicked. So it says, um, just to jump to eleven, it says. Let our strength be the law of justice. Now, these small hats are leaning on the law of this world. They're not going into the law of the Bible. We go into the law of the Bible to prove that this world is against the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob and his only, and his only begotten son. So they're, 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 where in the Bible would the true Israelites have a system 
to protect them. The powers that be would protect them. That's not prophetic. <laughs> we should we wouldn't have anything to go into the anti uh uh, uh sim and who's who in the hell is sim who who is that <laughs> see these are the questions we would ask if we got in front of these cameras who's who's yep. where where is he at where, is, it, is it a guy with a suit who's who's sim what was what, what this you know it's shim first of all but the point is this uh wisdom of solomon 2 and 11 let our strength be the law of justice for that which is feeble is found to be nothing worth and what's feeble is what we're, what they look at as feeble is what we're doing it says therefore let us lie and wait for the righteous and that's all he's doing with this agenda uh with kanye west which he's making a fool out of himself in the process and was working against him it says let us lie and wait for the for the righteous because he is not for our turn and we're not for their turn it says and he is clean contrary to our doings just like john the baptist was contrary to Herod's doings because what was Herod? He was calling himself the king of the JEWs, right? So John the Baptist was cursing Herod out, like, if you're supposed to be the, the king of the Jews, then why aren't you doing, you know, you, what, you you committing wickedness? He was cursing them out and that led to persecution. All right. It says, and he is clean contrary to our doings, and he is, he upbraided us with our offending the law. All right. We talk about how you have the kosher pigs, the, the alphabet parades and all of the, the, that that stuff. It says in objected our infamy, trans, the transgressions of our education. He professed himself to have the knowledge of God and calling himself the child of the most high. But I'm going to jump to verse 16 because this is the point. We are esteemed of him as counterfeits. Mm. <laughs> and, and that's the that's the problem. We're telling them they're the counterfeit. They're not the real people of the Lord. He abstained it from our ways as from filthiness. He pronounced the end of the just to be blessed, and he maketh his boast of God uh, that God is his father. And that's what we're here saying, that we're the sons of, of the most high God. But we're everything, that, that chapter right there is heavy because it speaks to what happened against Yahweh Shai, and now it's our turn. All right, ultimately, we're getting ready to have to go through this. All right, this is our straight gate. So, you know, may Yahweh Bashim Shai bless us with a strong mind, but we have a sure word of prophecy at yeah. the end of the day. You know, we, we have to really believe if you doubt the resurrection, if you doubt what's written in this book, it's going to be found out. So you need to, you know, uh, look in the mirror, as they say, but call on your how about Shemiel Shai to really you know, to ask yourself, do I believe, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Because the only way to get through this is, is going to be the faith of the elect, true belief in what is written. And that's the mindset. That's why it says in uh, uh, Revelation 14, they had the name of Yahweh in their forehead. All right, the, the 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 elect, the ones who are singing a new song, and we're we're speaking a victory into existence. So, blessings to you, brothers. Lord willing, uh, y'all continue or, or, or get it in. Habba thumb and Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah to you, brothers and sisters on the comment board. Shalom. 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 Peace, God. My what you got for us? Oh man, you already know. <laughs> I got one right here for you. Uh, this is the book of Genesis, chapter four. Bring Hello, it my brother. I see that clip. Bring it up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is Jesus chapter 4, uh, verse 12, straight to the point. It says, When thou tillest the ground, it shall not henceforth yield unto thee her strength. And here's the point. A fugitive and a vagabond shall thou be in the earth. All right? Yeah. And it's just land back and all what they all was speaking about earlier. Okay? You know, only, only a fugitive a criminal would try so hard to conceal his identity, man. Uh, and that lets you know that this man is indeed Edom, all right? He is Esau, okay? Because we're dealing with, we're dealing with Cain, all right? Cain and Esau, all right? So he, he is trying tooth and nail to run away, all right, from who he really is, man. And, and that's why, you know, he feels some type of way, you know, uh, you know, shedding tears, you know, boo-hooing, you know, because he's not the chosen, you know, the, the, the blessing, you know, that blessing was passed over him, was given over to Jacob, man. Okay. So again, whenever, you know, somebody, you know, speak about him, you know, uh, being, you know, the people of the Lord, you know, of course he's going to get defensive, man. Why? Because he's a fugitive. He's a criminal, you know, he's on the run. He's going to continue to conceal his identity, right. Into the day where he just going to have to just bring out the sword, you know, and that's what's going to end up happening. You know, 
you know, he's going to resort back to what he knows best. Okay. Back to his blessing, which is in, is the sword. Okay. So that's why when the time comes, all right, and when he's uh pushed over the edge, so to speak, all right, he's going to come with them truths, man. He's going to come with the force, man. All right. And and the, the, the ones he's going to target mainly is going to be us, the, the ones that know what's going on, man, the ones that know the truth. Okay. And what's happening behind the curtains. But, um, yeah, so, yeah, that's the only precept I had there. But, yeah, you know, let's, going back to the precept, you know, he's he's a fugitive, man. He's a criminal. So, of course, mm -hmm. he's going to try every tactic in the book to do that. And, you know, using Kanye is no different, you know. He's going to continue to throw out different ploys to escape, you know, his true identity, man. Because he's been identified, okay. He's been identified to be the devil that the Bible speaks of, man. You know, yeah, what you got yeah, I got here um, Romans 12 and 2, be and be not conformed to this world, you know, and the, the spirit had me kind of dwelling on this today just because, you know, we know what conformed is, you know, what conformity is, you know, I just read through the spirit, um, all of the uh, something called bandwagon effect that Esau has studied extensively, which makes people want to join the multitudes, right? Following out a multitude to do evil and the brother brought, brought out earlier with the scripture tells you um uh the you know broad is the gate that leadeth into destruction so you got to be critical critical minded man you know and the and that basically operate you operate in a space where you're not conformed to this world your thinking habits starting with your mind you know they got a saying trap my body can't trap my mind your mind can't be trapped if you in the, under the vibration of Yahweh Hashem Yahshua. And which I mean is just continually studying, preparing for the day of the Lord, watching, praying, fasting. All right, seeking seeking out uh, the scriptures to further understand them, praying for understanding. All right, with your hope in that you know and you believe that in these end times, everything that is written of in the scriptures is going to come true and be magnified. All right, as uh, including the prophecies concerning you, concerning what happens to us in the end time. Right, there's a scripture in the Apocrypha that tells you, don't mind, you know, a man, don't worry about how a sinner basically will be destroyed, but how I'm butchering it, but how the righteous will be preserved or saved. And so, you know, continually, you know, thinking upon that salvation and hoping and praying for that, man, that's what lifts your minds up because there's all type of tricks. As soon as you look at the world, you look at the world, you start looking at the world, man. It's all type of tricks and schemes. And they understand now all of this is moving into a time where they got to unleash everything, right? The scripture, Roman, Revelation 12 and 12, he knows but that he has a short time. Why does he know he has a short time? He's Who do you see on them corners? Who do you see uh, um, getting, you know, the view counts is going up for brothers and 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 people are, are recognizing who they are right more and more this information that we're pushing out there the vibration of the truth is being received by jake right and it's being understood in different languages it's being taught in different languages you got camps in philippines once again so the scripture said be not conformed to this world so you ain't gotta remind you the scripture says remember lot's wife you got to continually monitor that you ain't being a lot's wife, <laughs> right? Who turned into a pillar of salt because she kept looking back. Here it is. She didn't receive salvation up until the point that she looked back, right? And that's the spirit that's on a lot of Jake, a lot of, well, the scriptures tell you that there was five foolish virgins and they was dealing with the truth just like the wise was because they had lamps, meaning they could see in the dark, meaning they had understanding. But they didn't have enough, man. And then turning back, Scripture said, talking about taking your hand off the plow. When you come to serve the Lord, you got to continue on in that way. It says, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. So your mind got to be changed. Your mind got to be altered and is a renewing process. It's not some overnight thing, but through the spirit of the Lord, the Lord is going to increase increase uh, the rate at which brothers learn and being edified. You see how consistent these videos is popping up. I mean, you can see GMS basically operates as a 24-hour uh, news station. There's no, there's no uh, more. Uh, it, it used to be a point in which we got our news after the news, 
But now we're actually getting on news before you're my everyday modern news stations. Sometimes brothers do videos on things, and then two or three days later, the the YouTube other YouTube news stations will report it. This is where it's at. As far as news information and being processed through the through the scope of this and filtered through the scriptures. Most importantly, we're not up here talking about jazz unless it's relatable to the scriptures and your salvation. We ain't up here talking about music or, or phenomenons or what's under the sea unless we're relating it to a valuable, you know, dealing with your salvation. Because that's what we are. We fishers of men. And ultimately, you got to be, you know, the spirit, the, the spirit really um excites, you know, it excites you. And it keeps you and it activates you. All right. It quickens you. When you look up that word quick and it goes into like it, it activates you with something that was it makes you alive. We are lively stones. So we turn up for the Yahabashim Yahusha. And so it's the spirit that got us up hit up here at all times of the night. People sleeping, you know, you're trying not to wake the baby and you're watching videos. All right, your wife tapping you on the shoulder. What's going on? <laughs> Don't let me know more. It's because this truth comes first. There ain't no way to put it. So fear is our number one love. It says that she prove what is that good, acceptable, and perfect will of the Most High. We fighting for our salvation here, which means we fighting for our lives. If you didn't know, you are in a struggle for your life because when judgment come, you're not going to be able to change things around. You're not be going to be able to renegotiate your contract. None of them FRNs is going to matter. The scriptures tell you that, you know, it's not going to save you. In that day, it says, for I say through the grace that is given unto me to every man that is among you, not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think. And that's Kanye. I mean, he's had that title for the last. He's had the reigning title of uh, most proud guy entertainer for the last, I don't know, 20 years. Not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think. But it's so bigger than Kanye. I mean, he's just the clickbait. That's the face that they decided to use. You should actually feel like. You should actually feel like, you know, like, like kind of like, damn, like that's who y'all going to use. That's the best. That's who you all considered to move the masses of our people away from what is actually going on in the truth. Because this man is so convoluted when he's talking. He's not even if if anything, if he was truly sincere, he'd point in the direction of the men that's really pushing this word for Yahweh Hashem Yahweh's sake and can actually lead you to ways which, you know. Give you salvation. What we're, we're walking that same walk. Paul spoke about it. Let's not be a castaway. Let me make sure I got everything I need to get right, and let me make sure I'm teaching according to what I know. It says, "But think, but to think soberly, according to as Yahweh have dealt to every man the measure of his faith." And a lot of these entertainers and ath athletes and these super uh, rich, they're not gonna, they're not gonna condescend in the scriptures do say condescend as meaning come down to a brotherly level right they're not going to they're not going to minister to the necessity of the saints meaning they're not going to break bread all right they will look at you and salute you and say shallow warm if we and if kanye walked down this all he got to do he going everywhere he is interviewed by everywhere you think he couldn't if he wanted to just walk by a camp find out put a guy on it and then come by the camp Show up on a live where you and nobody's even asking him to do that because that's a part of that kind of intelligence because he might just pop up. And then what? It's still part of that COINTELPRO, man. And when you research COINTELPRO, you know what you find out? COINTELPRO, for those who don't know, <clears throat> it's uh, I looked it up already. What is the purpose of COINTELPRO? Or COINTELPRO is a series of covert and illegal projects in act in act. Illegal projects actively conducted by the United States Federal Bureau of Investigation and that surveilling, infiltrating, discrediting. So think about that. Think about them three. Surveilling, infiltrating, and discrediting. Because you, you might just think, oh, they're going to put somebody in the camp. But what about the discrediting part? That's what Yeezy and all of this is about. He didn't have a can in the world five, four months ago. And yet and people come into this troop. But this is not what that is right here. This is some COINTEL Pro. This got COINTEL Pro all over. It says, in disrupting domestic American political organization. It's a disruption. 
Because with or without Kanye, we still still would have been doing his work. Still would have been doing this through the spirit of y- y'all by Shemiel Shah as long as he keep us and protect us as we believe in him. And there's more to it. We ain't done. There's a, mo- there's a, there's a whole MOTB headed your way in true fashion. It says, but think back in um, Romans 12 and four, 3, but think, but to think soberly according as Yahweh have dealt to every man the measure of his faith. The Lord give it faith. He, he's the orchestrator of it all. If you want more faith, you got to ask him and you got to ask him without wavering, which means you can't be some double minded, non half conformed man. Well, think about all the ways you conformed. When you go into the army, don't you know the first move when you first get to the army or the military, any of the services, they got to break you down? Break you down to the point where you don't remember nothing. That's the because they got to teach you everything over again. They even teach you how to piss because they don't want you to take them long pee breaks when you're in the military. It's a minded, it's a mindset. And guess what? It's a mindset when you come to the truth. You got to leave that old man behind for real this time because salvation should meet, matter more to you than how everybody thinks about you or for, for parents family who remember salvation is key for as many as we have mem- for as we have many members in one body and all our members have not the same office that's being revealed through the spirit as well they have a large extensive body of believers and everybody got to play their role through the spirit just that's how a body works when the body's well maintained every part of the body operates correctly and in unison and it nourishes each part of the body through the spirit we hoping Brothers and you know, Aquaf and Akim is nourished through this, you know, because th- this is just the work of the Lord that that we doing here. And the harvest is plenty, but the you know, was it the workers are few, the labors are few, and so you know we got a lot of work to do, you know. So this is just a disruption. This might you know just the next phase of some Cointel Pro. And mind you, when the Cointel Pro came out, mainly it was in the seventies. They came against the Black Panther Party. This is what was said about it by Jay. Edgar Hoover in 1968 said the Black Panther Party without question represents the greatest threat to internal security of the country. What do you think they're saying now? What do you think the sentiment in the Oval Office is about Hebrew Israelites on the corner teaching their people, waking them up that they're truly Israelites and not black and African-Americans? You heard Biden. You don't vote for me. You ain't black. You black to them. You ain't you can't even you can't even walk up in your uh, in your office building and talk about you as right now. And you'd like to be treated as such. You still a slave here. We all are. So the, really, this for us, we can care less of what they think. When we go to when Esau sees us out there in them corners, they know all about this. They talk about now all of a sudden they feeling shamed about it. They know about us, man. Hey, and your brothers got something to add? Because we about to close it out real soon. I got a preset. Go ahead. Anybody yeah, else? Uh, Masai or Barack, whatever y'all got, you know, get it, get ready because we're going to come around and close it. Go ahead. Uh, yeah, yep. This is the book of um, Isaiah 62 in verse 6. It says, I have set watchmen upon thy walls, O Jerusalem, which shall never hold their peace day nor night. Ye make ye that make mention of the Lord, Yahweh, by Shimei Hawashai, keep not silence and give him no rest till he establish until he make Jerusalem a praise in the earth. Okay, and we understand that the Heavenly Father through his only begotten son, Yahweh Shah ordained his prophets to go out there and teach. All right. We set up as watchmen. And what does a watchman do? They stand upon that watch. They don't, you know, a watchman can't take a break. The minute you take a break, that's when the enemy come in and infiltrate. So there's always got to be watchmen watching, you know, watching for what? Watching for danger. You know, and the Lord set us up. We we see the danger from afar off. From I mean, from the apostles, elder bishops on down, the elder brothers on down, seeing that that danger coming from afar off. And now we see again closer and closer and closer and closer. That watchman still got to keep on watching and keep on blowing the trumpet. You know, and you got to be set up on that high tower. You know, to 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 really see what's going on. You know, and that's what the Lord have done. He have set up watchmen. All right, upon the walls of Jerusalem, O Jerusalem, which shall never hold their peace. Now, if the watchmen see danger coming, he got to blow that trumpet of danger. He can't stop, can't take a break. He can't say, all right, all right, let me let me, let me not blow the trumpet now because even though there's still danger coming, you still got to keep on blowing. It's going to sound annoying to those that don't want to hear it. But for those that are preparing themselves, 
and they hear the watchmen blowing that trumpet, they're going to say, all right, we got to keep on getting ourselves together. We got to get ready because danger is still coming. All right. Danger is still coming. You know, we shall never hold their peace day nor night. Right now is what? Nine, 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 twenty Eastern time. You know, different parts of the earth, different times, day, brothers do videos, morning, night, afternoon, evening, whatever. Ye that make mention of you, how about Shemir, how should I keep not silence? And if you got this truth, you can't keep silent. You know, this thing is like, the Lord call it uh, like, like, it's like it unto light. You mm -hmm. know, if you got that light, it's going to shine. You can't, you can't dim it out. You got to shine. You, you can't hide it. It's still going to illuminate. All right. The Lord referred to as um, talents. You know, you take this money. And you multiply it, you know, you you put in your investments, you, you gain and give him no rest. We're going to continue. Just keep on pushing his word, praying to you. Bashmir shall to come and destroy this place, turn this place up, you know, till he, till the Lord establish, until he make Jerusalem a praise in the earth. And ultimately the Israelites, the, the 12 tribes, the nation of Israel, Judah, Benjamin, Levi all the way down to Ephraim and Issachar. The Lord is going to set us up to be kings on this earth, priests, all right, holy you know, blameless in the sight of the Lord, the law, statute, commandments, and the animal part. And that's why the enemy is infurious, you know, infuriated. All right. That's why he's angry. That's why Esau is mad about the whole birthright. That's why they're mad today. That's why they're going to, that's why they've been trying to destroy Jake, you know, mentally, physically, spiritually, you know, whatever, on all levels, morally, you know. But what, what you see here, what we're doing now, bro, is a miracle that throughout all of that, that took place, the destruction of jake many times in, the, in the, you know history to this day the crack era the drug era the this era the that era the, the hip-hop the whatever the lord still put it on brother spirit to rise up you know ezekiel the 37 chapter and we're living all right we're living we are we alive while the world is dead connie is dead man all right but we're alive all right we actually living you know we wake up we go to bed we know the names yahweh bashmi al we wake up and we call them names yahweh bashmi al so we're alive, man. We yeah. got what they don't have. And that's that's that. Hold on to what we have that's right. so we don't be like them. All right? So, yeah, that's all I got to say, bro. Uh, Romans chapter 13, verse 11. It says, and this is a message, right? To you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, and Mexicans, which are the Israelites according to the Bible. You are the true worshipers and true believers, starting with the elect, right? You are the true worshipers and true believers of this Bible, of this book, right? And don't get caught up and don't be deceived by the masses and by the media and by what's trending and what's popular. Keep your eyes on the prize, which are the signs and the prophecies that is written in the scriptures. And continue to follow the prophets, right? Which are through the spirit the apostles and brothers of great millstone Romans 13 and 11 and then knowing the time that now it is high time to awake out of sleep when you look up the word high time right it says you are saying in an empathetic way that it should happen or be done by now and really should have happened or been done sooner right so you should already be awake, right? This is how important um, knowing the scriptures and knowing the prophecies, how important it is, right? Knowing the names of the Lord, how important it is, right? So it said it's high time to awake out of sleep. So you should have been up, right? Because the prophet's been out here since the 60s. The prophet's always been amongst the people, right? But you've been blind, deaf, and dumb and ignorant to who the prophets were because they look like you, right? Mm. So it says, it's high time to awake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than when we believed. So the day of our Lord and Savior, who the world eagerly called Jesus Christ, right? The second coming right our redemption our deliverance where we could where we going to be at peace right where we going to be connected to our heavenly father and his son right where all the bullshit and the cares of this world are going to pass away it's closer 
than we even expect or what we even think right now, right? Our salvation. What does our salvation entail? Being delivered from the ghettos and the slums, right? Being saved um, from women uh, having abortions. From our people being strung out on drugs, being idolaters, and every 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 other thing that's against God, right? We're going to be saved from these things. So it says, "For our salvation is nearer than we we believe." And that was it on that. Come on, God. Yeah, I got uh, one last precept. Uh, Isaiah, I got the fifty-five. Verse 11, it says, so shall my word be that go forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please. And it shall prosper in the thing whereto I sent it. All right. And these are the words of Yahweh Bashem El Shai. Okay. Sending forth his words. All right. Through the four corners of the earth. And it says that it's not going to return to a void, okay? And when you look up that word void, okay, that definition of that word is empty or empty, okay? Uh, it also says vain, okay? So those words being published throughout the four corners of the earth, they're not going to return empty, man, okay? But reading on, it says, but it shall accomplish that which I please, okay? Now, when you look at that word accomplish, right, that word accomplish, the definition means to do, okay? It says to make, to produce, okay? It says to be done, okay? It says uh, to a point, okay, to attend to, okay, to make, to do, to work, okay? So wherever these words are being sent forth, they're not going to return empty, okay? But they're going to do work, okay? They're going to uh, go out and do what Yahweh Bashem El Shai sent this word out to do. And that's why we were saying earlier is that no matter what tactics, you know, this devil try to come with, okay? It's not going to stop the Lord program, you know? And I had another priest up on that, but I'm just going to quote it real quick. Uh, uh, second address, the scripture where it speaks about uh, the Lord has a said measure, okay, and He doesn't stir nor move that move those uh, those times until that measure be fulfilled, okay. So the Lord has His own timetable, the way things are going to be done. That's why now you're seeing a, a transition happening, okay. See now you're seeing prophecy move those, those gears turning, okay, those cog wheels turning, continually turning, okay. As prophecy gets closer and closer, man, because we only got a few more left, okay. And after those few are over with, over and done, hey, mm -hmm. we out of here. You know, that's when your house shot comes back, okay. So that's why when we see these things, we don't, you know, we don't lose our heads over it. You know, we rejoice, okay, because this is a this is a step closer to the prophecies, man. The MOTB, especially the MOTB, man. Okay, it's all just one step closer to to uh, what the Lord wants done. Again, I'm reading it from uh, Scripture, Isaiah 55 and 11. Okay, it says here he's going to accomplish that which he pleases, right? And when you look at the word please, okay, the definition it says to delight in, okay, to take pleasure in, to desire. So this is the Lord's desire, man. Okay, he wants this done, but again. He has his own measure, you know, of uh, his own schedule, okay? And that's why this devil's going to get moved to start making power moves, okay? You know, Revelation, that's why Revelation chapter 12, verse 12 is written, okay? This devil's going to come down a wrath knowing that he have, but what, a short time, okay? But mm -hmm. at the ending of that the, uh, this verse is say it shall prosper in the thing where to I sent it. Okay. In other words, going to again, like it says, it's going to accomplish. Okay. It, it's going to overtake this man and what he has devised. Because at the end of the day, the Lord's word is going to stand. Yeah, that's all I add. 
Khan. It says, uh, I just wanted to bring this out from the elder, Shalom, the elder uh, from Chicago. It says, uh, Shalom, Malakim, for them claim, for they claim to be the people of the book. Uh, for them to claim to be the people of the book, they never use it to defend themselves, only their media controlled narratives. Right? Deuteronomy 33 and 29. And that's, that's your power, brother, because that's what's definitely going on. And that's where. Elder Yashawamba, who just came on, described is that for people that, you know, so called belong, lock, stock, and barrel to that lineage of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, they sure do not reference the scriptures when they're crying. They sure do not reference it. But the brother just brought out a beautiful one that we reference all the time through the spirit of Yahbashim Yashab, Baruch 4 and 25. It says, My children, and we know who the children of the Lord are, the Israelites. And the scripture said, The spirits. You know, speaking ex uh, expressly, what does it say? The spirit speaking uh, that we are the children of Israel. You know, uh, it says, suffer patiently the wrath that is come upon you from Yahweh. All right. So even as we catch in hell in different avenues and aspects, and in, in, in all of our enemies is right now writing papers, oh, all the black Hebrew Israelites, they are. Signing up with Kanye, they agreeing with Kanye. These are the recent articles that's coming out. Well, we're suffering the wrath. We're suffering patiently the wrath that has come upon us, right? From the Lord, right? We know where this wrath is coming from. We know what Esau is. We knew what the Assyrians was, the rod of his anger. Esau is no different. It says, for thine enemy had persecuted thee. So it's telling you exactly what the wrath of the Most High is. It's when our enemies persecute us, man. That's why you feel all weird and uncomfortable at work, because you under under persecution right now. They want you to be all misguided about this talk about generational wealth and fix your family, and your childhood, man. The scripture says you have no continuing city. How do you measure the times when you're trying to promote future events at the same time? You're trying to promote your wealth here in this society that doesn't continue forever. As asking what generation are you talking about? That's going to be here in America. This place is going to be a force of fire. All right. It says for thine enemy have persecuted thee. Esau, Edom. But shortly thou shalt see his destruction and shalt tread upon his neck. So this is a very um comforting scripture. All right. This is that scripture that lets you know it's all going to be all right. Right. It's going to be all right. You know what I'm saying? Because that's the spirit that the Lord also comforted us with. He ain't just, you know, told, told us doom and gloom. Guess what? That's going to happen. But ultimately, you go through the doom and gloom. What do you get to? You get to that paradise, man, the kingdom. Lord shall see it. Shortly shall, thou shalt see his destruction. So that means he's going down quick. He's going down vengefully and wrathfully. And the Lord said, vengeance is mine, save the Lord. So we really got it hands off. We hands off on this. They hate us. They hate us. They do this. What do you mean? We hands off. We ain't writing nothing on, you know, hate speech and this. And I mean, right. They're writing inside the Holocaust Museum, uh, you know, anti-Semitic. Look, bro, the Lord said, surely, shortly thou shalt see his destruction. We could take a hands off approach, man. We gliding down this the same ramp that Esau gliding now together. But one thing's for sure. It says the Lord going to deliver his elect. It says, and thou shalt tread upon his neck. So. Man, you're going to see a trade in places like you ain't never seen before. Go watch the movie Trade in Places and put and keep in mind Jacob and Esau, the story of Jacob and Esau. It's going to be a great trade in places that happens in your lifetime that we that we steadily approaching because the Lord says shortly and the Lord's word is better than all these other people were, man. Brothers, want to say anything? Final comments? All right. Hey, so, you know, we just going to end there. You're on mute still. I we going to end it here. Say, I was going to say, yeah, um, y'all about some y'all with is going to cancel you devils, man. You know, you're going to meet the ultimate canceler when our Lord returns, right? That's it. Yeah, it's going to be real cancel culture. What you got, my, my side? You got Oh, man. Shoot. The only closing statement I have is that, look, man, no matter what, you know, it's just that. Y'all about Shamel Shah still at the end of the day, it's gonna allow this thing to move, you know, concerning the truth, you know. And um, and you know, we're in good case because we're the only ones really that's even 
considering, you know, the things concerning prophecy was happening right before us, man. So, you know, that's a blessing in itself that, mm. you know, we even able to see, you know, what's happening, you know, mm. that the Lord giving us that sight. But, um, but this is, uh, but that sight, you know, we're able to, to get back home, you know, back, mm. you know, back, back to where we belong. You know what I mean? But hey, that's all I got. <laughs> that's real, man. Yeah, DTA. That's that's real, Kwame Shaala. Hey, good boy, you good? Yep, yep, yep. Hey, yep. man. Hey, brother, just stay in the spirit, bro. Watch as well as pray and stay in the spirit, man. I said, watch as well as pray, stay in the spirit, and pray, pray to how about you, man? Shout to strengthen us in these last days, man. You know, keep us, keep us, you know, keep us under his wings, you know, so that's it. Hey, Lord willing, everybody was at a five, man, like I was, man. We just a full plate tonight. And so, uh, Lord willing, the spirit keep stay on us to continue to do things like this, man. You know, the water for the brothers pulling up. And um, the water for all the brothers out there paying attention, going strong. We see all y'all. My man, Hawaii. Hey, Shalom, brother. And, uh, you know, call her lawyer. Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem, Rakak with us. I want us to the apostles and elders of great millstone, real spiritual fathers out here in the land of darkness, real spiritual fathers leading the way, actually going out there in the trenches. Shalom to our apostles and elders in Connecticut as well. And um, Shalom to all you brothers out there pushing the words of truth and sincerity. You know, that's our job. That's what we do. We do it. We fight hard and fight strong, man. House of David. All right. So, till next time. DTA, a bubble ball. Bubble ball. Bubble ball. Soon. Hold on, hold on. I got y'all. Y'all stay there.